right, Gary. Screw the countdown. Let's get this started. Send him on over, Gary. Gary. Gary, I'm waiting. Gary. Hey. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome aboard the deadliest Star Destroyer this galaxy's ever seen. Not this one. The one we are standing on right now, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. Papa Palpatine sent us a fresh batch of Imperial credits. Is this ship worth your farming effort? Worth your money? I don't know. Today, ladies and gentlemen, when you buckle down here, get the Kyber Club going, we're going to see if the ship is any good. Will we feel the spark of the resistance? Only time will tell. We're going to do an unlocking of this ship right here. We're going to do four star testing. And then at the end of it all, we're going to flex that Imperial might and just show how good this ship is at seven stars. Buckle down, ladies and gentlemen. You're now aboard the Deadly Star Destroyer with the greatest Grand Admiral of all of Star Wars history. Gary, bring him on over to the command station. Woo! Look at that beautiful sight. All hail the Empire, ladies and gentlemen. After an amazing Grand Arena, we're back. We're back and ready for action. Ah, crank it up a little bit. Ah! Ah! Ooh, baby. Ah, how you guys doing? Long time no see. Been about a good hour since I saw you guys last time. Arnold, you're eating a chicken sandwich? Oh, gosh. Well, that sounds good, Cruncher. What are you eating? Popeyes? Chick-fil-A? Mickey D's? Big K? Come on, everyone in chat, where's the best chicken sandwich? It, uh, the obvious answer is Chick-fil-A. Obvious answer is Chick-fil-A. I actually never had a Popeye's chicken sandwich recently. Maybe it changed. Wendy's? Wendy's? Chick-fil-A, that's right. Oh, KFC, that, they, they got some hard stuff. All right, guys. <laughs> While we're debating about the greatest chicken sandwich across the galaxy, the pressing news that we do here. Want to give a quick shout out to everybody that's supporting the Kyber Club, both through likes, subscriptions, and of course, all the top spenders here at the Kyber Club. Thank you guys so much. Steve Gaming back again. Thank you so much. Amadala became a member. Great seeing you over here again at the Kyber Club after the stream earlier. Catboy says they are all the Jedi. I don't want to mess with that guy. I'm not messing with that guy. Dakota M threw us a $5. Eight months I supported my Grand Admiral. Mm, that sounds amazing. Never have I regretted it for the Empire. Love you, man. Keep up the good work and good luck out there. Oh, we're going to need it. We are going to need it, ladies and gentlemen. Catboy234, hello there. Thank you all so much. You guys keep the lights on the Kyber Club and us doing some crazy testing so you can see if it's worth getting this capital ship. The requirements for this capital ship were uh, weird. They're absolutely weird. I actually want to start off the stream real quick by putting a happy note on this because you just got to shake your head when you look at the requirements. Here we go. <laughs> Check this out, chat, right here. Bring him on over, Gary. <laughs> oh, big shout out to uh, who is this? JDKZ. Last Jedi DVD updated to match with SWGOH. As you can see, in The Last Jedi, the last stand against the First Order, Karth was obviously there. Lando Calrissian, young Lando, to be uh, to be clear, Bosk and Ahsoka were there for those final moments to save the Resistance against the First Order. You just got to shake your head sometimes with the requirements that Capital Games makes. You just got to shake your head. Laugh it off a little bit. It's, it's insane. It is nuts. I see you, chat. I see you people across the galaxy. It is insane. So we're going to be making a highlight reel for those who are going to watch this video later because they might not be able to watch the stream. We're going to make a nice condensed uh, little uh, highlight for them. So if you are not sure what the requirements are, here's a quick rundown before we get into it. I only have these ships up to seven stars because as they just came out, I just farmed them. A lot of these ships have not been useful. Ahsoka Tano, useful ship for the negotiators. Her, she's required at seven stars to unlock the Radis at four stars. Kind of sucks. Evan Hawk, all, an okay all-around ship. Not a big need to farm this ship. 
at all. I just farmed it when I had nothing else to do in the cantina table. This is not... It's not a whale event, but it's a very friendly, veteran friendly event. If you've been playing for a long, long time, chances are you may have farmed this up because they were released many, many, many years ago, many months ago. Raise Millennium Falcon. You're going to need that seven stars to unlock a four star Radis. Not really an amazing ship until now. We're going to see if this makes a big difference. Houndstooth. Everyone needs to farm the Houndstooth one way or another. I don't care who you are. You gotta farm the Houndstooth. One of the best farming nodes in the whole entire game. Django Fed and Boss. You need it to get the Millennium Falcon. And that's, I'm okay with that. Now, the rest of these are kind of weird. Poe, Dameron, Zack Swing. Uh, okay, makes sense. Fine. You don't need the BLT sandwich. That's just there because I'm farming it. Lando's Millennium Falcon is needed, which is a very difficult farm to acquire. We all know Lando was very uh, integral to the, 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 the Last Jedi. <laughs> and then lastly, the Resistance X-Wing. Not incredibly hard to farm. I believe it shows up in the Galactic War store. It makes sense. But none of these ships have been usable. I'm almost certain that Capital Games looked at a list and they're like, huh, not a lot of people farmed up the Ebon Hawk and the Lando's Money and Falcon. Boom. Those are your requirements right there. They're all right ships, but it's like, ah, come on. Those are your requirements right there. <laughs> Karth is old if he was in The Last Jedi and don't you know it, Random Revenite. A couple other few shout outs here. Ryan Curie. Love your vids, man. Hope this helps so you don't have to mortgage your home. <laughs> this is the, this is what I'm not that concerned about. It's the, it's the Galactic Legends that I'm more concerned about. Jeez. That stuff's crazy. It, it's, it's crazy. It's an absolutely insane. And tattooing your mom in the house is Michael Robertson. Always can count on tattooing your mom to be in the house. And the Jedi Outcasts are up in her. Great to see you all. Great to see you all. We did our little breakdown. Those are your requirements. Very random. They're not unbearable, but you could definitely tell. They looked to see what people don't have. The good news is if you're really desperate to get this capital ship and you don't want to farm these uh, random Ebon Hawks. They have packs, so you don't have to do the whole long grind of getting those ships and whatnot. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. We're going to see. Uh, we're going to do all this after the event. Right over here, and just to keep in mind, since this is a, a advanced fleet mastery, you're going to have seven star ships to unlock the four star variant, and then you go, you're going to have to wait about another five months or so to get it to seven stars. Whew. Crazy requirements. Oh, man, we're playing the Imperial Might once more. Okay, so let's go hop into it. Admiral's Maneuver, Advanced Fleet, Mastery, fresh off the press. <laughs> These requirements are crazy. So we're going to need four star for all those ships that we mentioned, and you're going to be borrowing a Rattus. So let's go. Can we organize the ships how we want? Perfect. So probably what I'll end up doing, I honestly don't know how we're going to want to set this up, but we'll put the Resistance people up at front, put the Hound's Tooth in there, and then we'll bring in, uh, I don't know, Ebon Hawk. I don't think it really matters. We want to put Lando as the very last. I don't know how difficult this event is going to be, guys. We're going to see. Which systems does my Grand Admiral want me to patrol for the Rebel Scum? You, you got to look at those the Outer Rim, baby. Somewhere in the Outer Rim, there is someone screaming, Luke! Luke! I, it's annoying me. I don't know if it's a Rebel, but it's just annoying. You are the GOAT, my man. Thank you so much, Chris. like your name, by the way. All right, here we go. I'm not sure how difficult these events are going to be. Usually, ship events are never that difficult. Even the Millennium Falcon wasn't all that crazy. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, this is not going to be too bad. And if you saw, you saw the gear we had earlier. Uh, so I'm not going to gear rel relic, thir uh, relic and gear 13 any of these ships. So we're using mostly gear 12 today, ladies and gentlemen. So there we go. We see our brand new status effect. Deflector shield at the start of the turn. Recover 25% protection. Double for resistance allies and gain force. I just want to see us... Use the Holdo Maneuver, baby. Yeah, why are we fighting Vader? This is not very thematic. Not very thematic, guys. <laughs> we could probably, can't even put it on auto. So we got to play it uh, manually. We got to play it manually. Uh, there we go. Do our little twisty move. Try spinning. That's always a good move, right? And yeah, this is not going to be very eventful. It's 12 months. Is it really 12 months? I, I'll see, how, I'll see uh, what the requirements are, what you end up with. But yeah, it, you know, you're only going to get about 10 to 20 sh uh, blueprints a month. So it could take a while. Here we go. I don't know what any of these resistance ship abilities do. We haven't needed them for ages. All right, moving on, guys. Next tier. I don't know if this is going to be really entertaining. I maybe should have done this before the stream. <laughs> so my bad if this isn't going to be that entertaining. So it might be like the Millennium Falcon where it was kind of a letdown. All right, let's do the same thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Let's not put him in it there. Uh, do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. Hopping over there. Yeah, we got to make sure we spam our special abilities to reduce the ultimate cooldown. That is correct. So let's make sure we, uh, do that. Here we go. Let's uh, do some of that funny business. 
What does this do? Dispel all debuffs, gain protection, and gain 20% turn meter. Let's go ahead and smash it. There we go. 20% turn meter on the field. Sucks they won't auto this. They won't let you auto it. Here we go. Try spinning. That's always a cool trick. You got their own hound's tooth up in here. Keep spamming. 90,000 damage from Poe Dameron. Holy moly. Jeez. You haven't missed anything yet, my friends. If you're just tuning in, we are simply doing the unlock process, seeing how difficult all this is. Uh, so far, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that bad. Big hit. 39,000. Here we go. Spamming the specials. Oh! There goes Ray with the big hit. Steve Gaming coming in once more. Just take my Imperial credits. You might need them. With all the, the ca catching up we got to do to make videos, it's going to be needed somewhere. Thank you so much, Steve Gaming. The Emperor is taking note of your loyalty to the Empire. Yeah, this event so far is not that bad. So uh, I don't think you guys have to fret. At least as of now, we're only moving into the third uh, step, I believe. So I wouldn't be too concerned of the difficulty right now. Keep it going. Keep it going. I wish I could just be a crack and just make YouTube videos. That's the only way you can like, I, it, you know, I don't want, everyone can do whatever they want with their money. If it wasn't for YouTube, and making sure I make videos for you guys. You guys can be more informed than all the new content coming out with your free-to-play whale mega kraken. I, 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 can't, I can't imagine why people spend as much money as they do. Before the chat started, we had a little talk about how much money I spent and how much uh, like top spenders are in Galaxy of Heroes. And like the amount of money I spent seems so puny compared to the <laughs> compared to the overall picture of what the the big spenders do. It's like, oh, man, are they making YouTube videos or something I don't know about? Don't buy the packs. You can refresh the event. It's way cheaper. I'm gonna look at all the. I'm gonna look at all the the math in a second. Once we finish this off and see what we're left off with, we'll see what the cheapest way to, to go about this is. How much are the top spenders? Easily over two hundred thousand dollars. Easily. I can tell you this. Back in 2016, or, or about mid 2016, the top spender back then was already over twenty thousand dollars. That's back in 2016. We have a lot of stuff that's come out since then. All right, do the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think it really matters at all. So far, this is kind of a eh, eh event. How do you get Nihilus Shards? You got to do it the hard way, baby. Just got to do the hard node farming. That's the only way we can do it. All right, we have a Malevolence we're going up against. All right, this should be interesting. This should be a bit more interesting. Let's make sure we take out the Hyena Bomber first because those are the bigger problems usually. Don't want to kill out the Vulture Droid. Don't want to feed Turn Meter to the Malevolence. Here we go. Do a little do a little dance. Do a little spin. Uh, let's just do this. This looks like we might actually get our special off. So we're going to do our best to try to get our special off. That seems to be a seven-star Malevolence because they got the assist going on right there off the cleanse. Here we go. Big hit. 30,000. Not quite enough. Here comes the Buzzies. I was kind of curious about how the Buzz Droids are going to interact with Amal and Holdo's ship here. God dang it, Gary. Falling apart here, man. All right, let's call in a reinforcement. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and get the mass uh, buff the spell. I don't think I maxed out all my ship's uh, abilities here. All right, keep going. Can we get a buff community? Yee, we got a buff community. Beautiful. Beautiful. Keep it going. Keep it going, Shaq. Keep getting spamming those specials. I want to get this maneuver ability off. I want to just dive bomb into this capital ship here. Come on, just keep going. Big hit. Almost. Oh, geez. Now that was nothing. Card. Geez, no wonder why they asked you to help him out in the last Jedi. Hitting like a chump. All right. Tenacity up. This actually might have been nice to do before they started throwing buzz droids everywhere. Get 50% terminal. Let's do it. And uh, what's the selection for? Target ally gains tenacity. All right, let's go ahead and just give it to, I don't know, give it to Ray. There we go. Basics. Jesus, we're hitting like chumps right now. No wonder why they ran out of gas. Come on. Almost there, almost taking out that high in the bomber. Oh, let's just do, let's just do the special. Damn, all right, 33,000. I think we're going to get it off this time, chat. I think we're going to get it off three more turns to go. Let's go ahead and bring in, I don't know, let's bring in, a, bring in another resistance. Resistance uh, X-Wing, I didn't max out, I, don't, I didn't max out any of these ship ability, abilities, really. At least the resistance ones. All right, let's just do it, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> no wonder why they ran out of gas. All right, here we go, dispel all buffs on target enemy, daze the target, whatever, yeah, let's do it. All right, here comes an assist, there we go. Get the breach on him. 
So far, we're not losing anyone. I think they're just there. Mulevin's battles could take a while, and that's kind of nice for what we're trying to do today. Big hit. There we go. All right, we got to take out that IG-2000 and the last Vulture Dread. Ooh, they took out one of our boys. All right, we're almost to the big ability, guys. Dispel all debuffs on all allies. Gain protection up. All right, let's do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on. All right, almost there. Come on. All right. I'm trying to actually slow it down. Let's not kill off that last one. Oh, my goodness. David, it's the $50. The dark side flows through you. Thanks for all your insight and great content. Well, guys, thank you so much for your unending loyalty to this empire. Without you guys, there wouldn't be a successful empire that we have today. Thank you so much, David. That's going to really help out. Really appreciate it, man. And Nova Lurker, great to see you. Resistance ships are hitting like wet noodles. Yeah, they're not hitting hard. All right. This is the moment, chat. This is the moment. Put this on 1x, fool. Turn up the gameplay volume. Buckle down, ladies and gentlemen, because we're going to dive bomb right into Grievous's command bridge. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Lift up. Bam. Son, wow, jeez, that probably scared the mesophilioma right out of Grievous's lungs, man. Holy cow, that was pretty sick, guys. That was very sick. Now they can't call in more vulture droids. There's no more Grievous, so I can go all out on these vultures. That was pretty epic, guys. I'm not a last Jedi lover, but in terms of just gameplay and just the creativity, that was pretty darn awesome. Wow. We learned a few things, chat, before we get, the, we lose our train of thought. We didn't get those, so we can't have more than five reinforcements. One of the concerns or questions we had were, were we going to be able to get a last reinforcement if there was already five on the field? And as we saw, we didn't get an extra reinforcement on the, on the field. So you can't have more than six. So if Holdo does their Kamikaze ability and you already have five reinforcements, you're not going to have one more reinforcement coming. Wow. I don't know how this is going to affect the game because this is really uh, this fleet so far just from this testing right here. What do you mean? I have no. What, what does this mean? No valid capital ship. What do you need? Oh, OK. So this is the very last tier. So once you complete all the events, you get this one last tier and you're going to. Um, Oh, so we got to unlock. Jeez, we got to unlock us. This isn't it right here. Gary, simple jobs, man. You got to tell the quartermaster, which is you, to make sure you pin this properly on my suit. Jeez. All right, so let's go ahead and unlock this bad girl. Only 80 shards right here. So let's go ahead and unlock it, ladies and gentlemen. And then we're going to get some four-star testing. And I actually already have Holdo. At gear 12 with the Zeta, I lost a bet a long time ago. And if I lost, I had the Zeta Holdo. So we actually have a decent ground for testing. Yeah, they're not gear 13 relic out of their minds like the negotiators and malevolences will be. But we have a good baseline to start testing. And if need be, I can upgrade Holdo to gear 13 so we can make our testing a bit more consistent. So we have a lot of stuff. I don't know if I want to relic her right now, to be honest. Don't want to do that, but I'm willing to take her to gear 13 if you need to get some better ship testing done. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to thee Vradis Kamikaze Lady right here, guys. Boom. Beautiful. All right, let's level this bad boy up. Do the last tier that we have. Get the, I think there was 10 more shards. And if I'm correct, it puts you at, what is it? Uh, 10 out of 65. And then if you want to get it to five stars faster, you can buy these three packs. You'll get 20, 20. So that's 40. And then you'll get 15. So you'll get 55 shards. So if you spend, what is that? 50 bucks, 55 bucks, you can take her straight to five stars right away. For those that are a little bit antsy pantsy. All right, let's level this bad, bad girl up. Let's see what we can do. So obviously only being a four star capital ship, you're not going to upgrade all the abilities to the max. We should be able to upgrade her all the way because we have our gear at 12. Whenever resistance uh, ally loses foresight, they gain evasion up and protection. That's actually kind of important. This whole ship so far, this whole fleet, I think I lost my train of thought a while ago. The whole point of this fleet, it's not a damage output ship like the Malevolence and Grievous or the Malevolence and Negotiator kind of are in the Rebels. It seems to be just survive as long as possible and then she's going to come and do her dive bomb thing. So I think that's kind of the whole point. There. They're not meant to be super high firepower ships. And uh, we're stuck here. So we need to get the five stars for the next tier. Getting extra turn meter gains. So that's kind of rough. 
General Hostilia! How do you like my new name? Sexy. I'm digging it. Make sure you report that to Imperial High Command so they remember to update your info. So only at four stars, you're missing a lot of stuff. Look at the stuff you're missing. See, this is kind of why you're going to want that seven star variant to spell all debuffs on all allies. That's huge. And you only could get that at seven stars. This is going to be five stars, I believe, or six stars. Um, yeah, that's a big ability we're missing out right there. And then let's max out this one right here. Relic Coldo ASAP. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> no, I got to get Scav Raider Relic first. You can change your capital ship. Look, where's that? What are, you, what are you talking about, chap? All right, let's go. Let's go check this event out again. I think we should be able to do this event now. Perfect. So this bonus tier will get us 10 more shards to allow you to wield at 55 bucks if you want to get the five stars ASAP. -o. And then uh, Mr. Meta Gas. Whale harder. Galactic Legends. Kraken harder. Yeah. Galactic Legends is not whale territory. It is Kraken territory. Kraken. And it, it makes me very uncomfortable. Uh, this event makes me very, very uncomfortable. All right. Here we go. And then we have $25 from Tromb to CH2. Since Fadby needs to be Relic for new Kylo, can you please try out? Yeah, you're the, the, the Fazby guy that keeps reaching out. I'm going to try to... I'm going to put that on my to-list when I go on Twitch. I'll do some testing. Phasma's not really amazing right now. I don't imagine there's going to be too much viability with her. But I could definitely try to... I'll, you know what? I'm going to take my Imperial Data Path, take a picture... And I'm going to remember this when I go on Twitch next time. Hey, Gary, get this out of my face. There we go. Boom. On my Imperial data pad right there. Bring in resistance as reinforcement. Sure, let's do it. Bring in resistance. All right, let's do it, baby. Ten more shards. Let's bag it up and do some fleet arena testing. Is this thing even worth it? We got over 3,031 people across the galaxy that wants to know if it's worth their time. We're going up against Negotiator here. Not a fleet arena negotiator. But still, we should be able to get our uh, ultimate ability off, hopefully. All right, all allies gain protection up. Let's do it. It's going to suck not having the mass cleanse, but I'm sure they took that into consideration. I do have Lando. Yes, indeed. But you, I can't fill in the whole entire thing. I can't fill in all the reinforcements. We only have a four-star ship. Okay, they're getting their taunt up. See, I'm going to... I am I rock the Malevolence in the fleet arena right now. I absolutely love the Malevolence. And I, we don't have a lot of ways to get around these taunts. Hyena Bomber is so beautiful. Going around taunts, getting people to assist, attacking those vultures or the buzz droids. Kind of sucks not having a way to ignore this. But we have Evan Hawk, which should pull off those uh, status effects here. There we go. Let's go all out on him. Let's do uh, let's do buff immunity. Ah, no buff immunity. Hey, we coming in. Probably should level up our abilities a bit more. Our abilities are kind of garbage right now. And then we kind of overkilled Skywalker. They're going to get the unending loyalty again right there. Here they come. All right, buff the spell. There we go. There we go. Satellite radio. Come on, Sky Guy. Hey, he woke up, but we were still stuck behind this BLT sandwich. And it sucks that we can't do any damage with this ship. All right, target ally gains turn meter. Who needs turn meter? Who needs turn meter? I don't know. Let's give it to Ho. Ray's almost got 100% turn meter. Boom. There we go. Gotta get the Sky Guy. See, with the Malevans, I would have killed off Sky Guy by now. This is taking way too long. Way too long. Spam specials, guys. Keep spamming the specials. Might as well try to kill off this BLT sandwich. Big hit. Bam! 78,000. Pose the main damage dealer, it seems like. Falcon's doing all right damage. Here we go. Get the Breach. Oh, I didn't pay attention to the buff community. Slight misplay, but see how long it's taking me to kill off Skywalker? Makes me a little bit uncomfortable. A little bit uncomfortable. See, like, normally I kill off Skywalker within the first few moments of, uh, with the Malevolence. All right, this fall deep, uh, boss. There we go. Can we finally get after Skywalker? We got to get rid of that leftover protection going on there. Here we go. Buff community. Perfect. Go after Skywalker. Come on. Almost there. Oh, let's just do an AoE. Let's just do an AoE real quick. Bam. All right. They gone. Kill him off. All right, let's slow it down, guys. Turn up the gameplay sound. Buckle down. Karen is having a bad mood today. Someone scratched her SUV purple minivan. That doesn't make any sense with a cart, and she's going to get a revenge. Bam, you fool. Never mess with the purple hair crazy lady. What, what happened? What happened? What happened to all the fancy animations? Oh, man, that buzz killed me. That buzz killed me.
I was expecting all the, the they kind of rushed the animations for some reason. Oh well, well that was a little anticlimactic. A little anticlimactic right there. All right, and we did it. So this isn't gonna be. Don't take this as oh this beats Malevolence and Negotiator. These are just the event versions. We have to go up against those God tier relic ones. In uh, Fleet Arena, I thought there was some missing. Like I didn't see the debris fly onto the field. It looks like they rushed it. Yeah, the debris was missing. The animation was kind of there, but it looked like they missed it. So here we go. Ten out of six five. That's where you're gonna leave off. And apparently they said you can uh, refresh this. So how many times? Can oh, you can't really refresh. Oh, you could. All right, let's. Just, I'm just curious. I don't know if I'm going to recommend this to people, but I'll, I'll show you how many times we can refresh this because the packs, the packs only offer. Your, there's no RNG involved. The packs are always giving you ten shards a drop, and the packs cost twelve fifty. The only thing to keep in mind is that you're getting all this extra stuff here. You're getting all these materials, and that and consider that the extra two fifty upcharge. I don't know what the cap is on the event. I don't know if I'm going to do the event several times that way because that would be a very long stream, but I'll do it once and see if it caps you off on refreshes. Please gear 13 hold us as space monkey. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I do it. I'm going to I want to do I want to kind of do bare minimum testing before we work our way up, but I think just for you we'll do a gear 13 holdo. I think we'll do it later. All right. Uh, we, let's see, let's just put sun auto for a second. Oh, let's just do this. All right. We're going to throw us an auto. I wanted to see how many times you could do it. If it'll let you keep refreshing over and over again. Uh, but I think for the purposes of this uh, stream today, we're just going to eventually just get the pack so we don't uh, take too long. Because this is you have to do this every single time. So instead of just buying a pack and being done with, you got to do it every single time. So I'm not sure if it's worth it. The extra 250 crystals for all those resources might be kind of nice. I did put it on 1x last time. Where are mods? I don't know. I don't even know what the mods are in this. I didn't do any ship ability upgrades, which we have to do before we do Fleet Arena. And uh, I have garbage mods on all these resistance characters. All right. Almost done. They're actually doing uh, making quick work. They took care of Skywalker this time pretty quickly. Poe must have timed out a good hit. I was not paying attention, ladies and germs. This is actually going a lot faster. I don't know if we'll get our ultimate ability off this time. There we go. Fives is gone. Whew. That's actually going uh, pretty good. Yeah, it's... it's it, I don't know. Maybe it maybe feels like a thousand crystals cheaper than the packs. It would make sense. I don't know if there's really any. There's not that much sense doing this event over and over and over and over and over again for nine ninety nine. Three thousand watching. Only three hundred eighty likes. Gary, you know this is an imperial cry. People are doing a better job adhering to imperial law, reminding you about it than you. My gosh. Luckily, likes aren't. The lack of likes aren't connected to your guys' accounts because the Emperor popped it. It'd be out of my hands. He'd be after you guys. All right. So you can, let's see if we can do it. I'm not going to do it again, but it looks like you can keep refreshing it over and over again. Again, if you are if you are someone that's out there to wail on this ship, I don't know if saving yourself 250 Chris the pop is that much worth it. I mean, you, these ability mats aren't really too valuable. If there was other ones, it'd be a little bit better. That comes down to how much do you value your time. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. So we're not going to wail on the ship yet. Let's do some four-star testing. Let's assume you meet, you met the requirements. You unlock this capital ship. What can you do with this? What can you do with this ship now? You got this ship ready to go right here. Four stars, 20 out of 65 right now. And then we got the abilities as maxed out as we can at four stars. Let's look at the rest of the fleet that we have to play around with today because I there's there's been no reason to upgrade these ships. So this is what we use. We'd even level up the abilities for the event. So don't worry about maxing out all these abilities. You got to go. No worries, Cruncher. Thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, I have a lot of stuff hoarded up. So I'm, I'm actually, uh, I feel a little bit, uh, I don't know what the lineup's going to be. So we're just going to level up everything, waste all my resources, and figure out what we what, what the ideal lineup's going to be. Yeah. Here we go. I honestly have no idea if these are going to be worth it. But... We need it. We can't uh, lack off on abilities if we're going to go up against Relic 7 Negotiators and Malevolences and stuff like that. Anthony Clark, thank you so much for the clean $3. Sending us a little fist bump. Thank you so much. Sending a fist bump right back at you. Bro fist style. All right. One ship down. Moving on to the next one. At least you can see what the what we used here. Poe. Oh, man. When did I ever level Poe up? All right. Let's see. Is this worth having Poe in the reinforce? And Poe Dameron's X-Wing... He gains dramatic entrance, plus 25% offense deal, bonus damage equal to 10% of the target's max health, gain 20% terminator, and regain dramatic entrance for two turns after defeating an enemy while this buff is active. 
Let's upgrade it. Who knows if we're going to use it? Probably not the best just to waste all this, but I don't have any other ships I'm really upgrading right now, so I'm not too concerned. Protection gain, turn meter, and then uh, this stuff over here. Extra damage. We need every little piece of damage possible. And then raise Millennium Falcon. What's her reinforcement do? Falcon gains three stacks of thrust reversal, 100% counter chance. Whenever the Falcon uses its basic, one stack is consumed to gain 50% turn meter. I don't know about that, guys. I'll see what you guys think. Yeah, GP's flying up. You know, that's just the nature of testing. I mean, I'm sure this is going to be helpful for Territory Wars as well as um, Grand Arena whenever ships is involved. So I'm not too concerned. But, you know, someone's got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. All right. I'm not sure about the reinforcement. We'll see. Yeah, I think we're going to start off with Race Falcon. And then uh, I don't have to level up Ahsoka, but I think we're going to have to level up, uh, what's it called? Uh, Ebon Hawk. And for sure, the Lando Falcon. Uh, actually... We've already had this upgrade. Eppin Hawk's been an all right ship. I used it to counter the Millennium Falcon when I didn't have the Millennium Falcon myself. We don't need to upgrade him. And then here we go, Lando's Falcon. My Lando's only level one. So we're definitely a bit low. <laughs> that might be a problem. I don't know if we're ever gonna need to get that far in the reinforcements, but I do have the reinforcement maxed out here, so. Let's just do this. I don't know if we're going to level up Lando. I don't really want to. I, he's not an amazing character. Not an amazing character. Lando level 85? Man, that's a waste of GP right there. That's a waste of GP. Stephanie, get your bot out of here. Jeez. Thirsty girls, man. These girls be thirsty. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hopefully that was not a bot. It looked like a bot, so I'm sorry if you weren't a bot. Need Lando Relic 5? No, thank you. No, let's try to do... Let's, let, we're, Lando's the very last reinforced. I don't know if we're going to actually have him. And with the four-star ship, I don't have room for Lando, so it might not even be worth getting Lando up and running. But in a seven-star variant, which we will try later on, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it wasn't that much a uh, waste of a GP, because <laughs> that was a lot of uh, crap we did. So Relic 7, seven-star negotiator. Let's just get into the deep end. We're going to get into the deep end and see what we can do. Taking out the Malevolence, which I absolutely love and adore. We're going to stick the gear 12 and everything. We basically have gear 12 and for most of these characters are running. So I don't know what the ideal lineup is going to be yet. That's what we got to find out. We need the Hound's Tooth to soak up punches. That's for sure. Oh, what do I want to do here? I guess we can do, um, let's look at the resistance. Is that the wrong Falcon? Yeah, that's the wrong Falcon. Gosh, too many Falcons in this game. Where is the Falcon? There we go. Raise Millennium Falcon. Perfect. Thank you for the reminder, chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And let's see what the, let's see what, let's see what the best resistance reinforcements are going to be. I honestly don't know. I don't know if we're really going to get much out of a four star variant. That's kind of lame. That's pretty lame. All right, let's do let's do Ebon Hawk reinforcement as well as Poe. I think Ebon Hawk and reinforcement makes a lot of sense. I don't know about the rest of the lineup, to be honest. All this stuff is kind of up in the air. All right. Jeez. Will you read this? I read. I see it, Antoine. I peek over here and there to see what you guys are talking about. All right. Um. I, man, not having a five star capital ship. I mean, like five stars, you could maybe make something work. I don't know about four stars. You need at least one more reinforcement to make me feel comfortable. All right, here we go. Our first four star capital ship testing, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder if we should maybe put Poe in the start as well. I don't know. It's way too much up in the air right now. All right, let's do a little spin. Spins always work in ships, apparently. Wow, early buff unit. That blows. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Poldo, this feels like we're reenacting The Last Jedi right now. Your ships are being demolished at the moment. Okay, well. Oh, yeah, we need to cleanse, like, now. I mean, but we can't because we don't have a seven-star ship. Yeah, like, right here, not having the seven-star ship blows. You, like, this has the, the cleanse all, but you need the seven-star variant. I don't know what to do now. I, mean, I got so used to the cleanse. Um... Sure. Let's try to keep this fleet alive. What do we got here? Dispel all buffs on target enemy. Let's do it. 
Uh, but we have no breach. That should pull that off. Beautiful. Huh. Oh, snap. The resistance is built on hope. Oh, finally. Thank you for the cleanse. Jeez. All right, we're going to call in. Uh, let's call him the Ebon Hawk. It's not going to matter. Actually, let's call him Poe. Ebon Hawk won't matter because that taunt's going to reappear. All right, here we go. Let's do uh, Middle Billy. Spam those specials, ladies and gentlemen. Jeez. That's gone. Oh, did I already burn? Why did I use that? But I must, I mean, I did a misplay. I must have used that when I buffed me. That was a misplay on my part. That's a misplay on my part somewhere. All right. Well, I, yeah, <laughs> without that mass cleanse, this really blows. You need that mass cleanse really badly. We're going to try our best to stick around or hold those, at least keeping some of these resistance. Jeez. Resistance is built on hope. Resistance is built on hope. All right. Well, that's a beautiful first battle there. Okay. Well, let's uh, mix that up a little bit more. I think I made one misplay. With the hounds too. I think I used the special for some reason. I should have probably done basic there. Keep in mind, keep in mind, chat. We're using a four-star ship and we're using gear 12. Fins, I think, is the only relic ship I have on this fleet right now. Gear 12. Uh Hound's Tooth is gear 12. Gear 12. So we're not we're going up against relic and gear 13. So there might be a little bit of a difference to go on there. Alright, I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna put Poe in the start. I don't know how long we should go at it with the four-star testing. I really do not know. Because without that mass cleanse, it's going to suck. It's going to suck. Hey, a couple donos in the chat. Thank you so much. Leo H, $20. Arnold, thanks for the coverage and for saying what you thought about these absurd requirements. Yeah, they're insane, man. It's like CG is saying, get wrecked all free to play. or even 10k whales. All hell crack it unless something gives. Yeah, this, the Galactic Legends is a cracking event. It's not a whale event. And if you're free to play, expect to get those characters within one to three years. Maybe. I don't know if I don't even know if they'll be that relevant by then. <laughs> and then Puddington 2. Hey Arnold, how stupid is CJ? I thought they'd have packs atop of our resistance ship. Can't even do the second tier. I would have a seven-star Radis. Take some of this money. CG CG doesn't want, apparently. There's no packs for the ships? I'm surprised, man. You would think they'd want to put out packs. Well, that sucks, man. That sucks. That, yeah, especially if you if you wanted to really get that fleet together. I feel for you, man. Well, thank you for the support. We'll try to put it to use for you. Oh, all right. Let's try to spam these specials. Get the four protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buff immunity again. Always on Hound's Tooth. Here comes the days. And oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. We got a cleanse there. Like, I don't even know if we should make. We should probably put our trashiest ships up front and just do some reinforcements afterwards that are uh, useful. Like, uh, Ray. Like, this. What am I going to. What am I supposed to do here? Yeah, I think uh, we'll try a couple more times. I think the consensus is going to be, ladies and gents, that if you're trying to do four-star and you're top 50 in Fleet Arena, top 100, and you have negotiator malevolence, uh, probably not going to be worth it. Not to say the ship's bad, but we need more stuff to make this work. We need more uh, stars, even more gear probably, and stuff like that. All right, let's do this. Where's the buff immunity? There we go. Buff immunity. Fool. There we go. Now we just got to pull that taunt off. Gotta get that taunt off somehow. No specials there. We need specials. I need to get the ultimate ability off. If we can get the ultimate ability off once with our four-star capital ship, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. Oh, boy. Big kick coming in. Yeesh. Okay. This does the protection, right? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Deflector shield. Let's go ahead and give it to him. Come on. Try to survive. I don't think it's going to help him out too much. Oh, man. I don't think we're gonna, we don't have like any damage output going on right now. Oh, we got a nice lucky dodge there. Lucky dodge. Come on, let's get another taunt off. Beautiful. Too bad it's going on to Hound's Tooth, because that's just going to get cleansed off in a second. Spamming the specials. Another day's coming in. Yikes, there goes the Hound's Tooth. Yeesh. This is looking not like the last Jedi here. All right, let's see what we can do. Because I uh, that, that, Maybe we just got to, like, front load the tanks. Like, just put a bunch of tanks to start. Hey, we got a Grievous battle. Let's try Grievous. But maybe what we got to do is like, like the raised Falcon seems too important to die in five seconds. Seems way too important. Let's just waste some 
waste it. We'll put Ray maybe in the reinforce. We'll try this again. Don't spam specials. Play smart. You need to spam specials if you ever want to get that ultimate ability off. At least uh, for the resistance ships. So let's see here. Uh, yeah, we'll try this because Ray's dying too early. Ray is dying way too early. What other tanks can we throw up here right away? Is that Sunfac? We maybe throw Sunfac up in there. Just try to... <laughs> Front load this up right here. Use good ships and not resistance. Yeah. What if we did like Rad... What if we did like Amlin Holdo with uh, a Separatist fleet? That'd be pretty funny. That'd be pretty funny. And then we'll, we'll do we'll do resistance in the background. We'll do resistance here, resistance there. I have no idea. The whole point is to try to survive. We just... Without all the tools we need, it's going to be tough. Oh, yeah, we can do Phantom Reinforcement. Yeah, we can do that, too. Uh, so we're going up against uh, Malevolence this time. We're going to mix it up a little bit. Let's try to... We got to make sure we take out the Hyena Bomber. That's kind of priority number one. Priority number one here, chat. All right, we got the Breach on the field. Buzz Droids. Without that mass cleanse, it's going to blow, not taking the Buzz Droids off. It's really, really going to blow. All right, Protection up on the field. Stun this fool. All right, probably should have stunned over there. Misplay there. I didn't pay attention. The Hyena Bomber had a taunt. Probably would have because we could have stopped all the Buzz Droids right there. All right, come on. Get some Target Lock or something here. Come on. Come on. Buzzies. All right, so here we go. We're going to call on Ray. Not the greatest reinforcement ability of all time. All right. We just, so we don't really need to use this right now. Let's just... We have already three stacks of Thrust Reverse, so let's just go ahead and spam this ability right here. All right. Don't want to kill off those Vulture Droids, though. That's the problem. Because then we're going to feed too much Terminator. All right, there goes one tank. Come on, get some Target Lock. Oh, my gosh. Biggie, Biggie. We have, like, no cleansing or anything on this team right now. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Let's give it to her. All right, here we go. Let's do a little spin. Six stacks of Thrust Reversal. Ready to go. There goes Biggie. Boom! Buff immunity. Phantom might be kind of interesting to try out. All right, here we go. Poe, let's do it. Bring it, everyone in. Relic three, that resistance pile. I'm trying. I only can wail so hard. Come on, one hit. So, like, it's too bad you got to wait for her to follow up again. It's like, oh, gosh. Yeah, this is not looking good. Not looking good. A couple dodges. Got lucky there. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Counter. Come on. Big hit. Come on. Killing all Vulture Droids. It's not a good thing. Here. Kill him off. Okay. We're making progress. Oh, gosh. We're backtracking on progress now. Okay. You gotta, we just got to hold off a little bit longer, Poe. It's coming down to you and me, bud. Almost there. To survive. Sur no! Well, that blows. That blows. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Um, let's see how much relic... Or not relicing, but let's see how much upgrading hold will make a difference on the ship. Wow. That sucks. I mean, to be fair, we're still trying to find the ideal lineup, too. So there's probably a lineup out there. We got to figure out what is, uh, what, what's the lineup going to be. We got to see what that lineup is going to look like here. Dang, that sucks. How slow is their capital ship? 160. Let's compare that to my malevolence here for a second. 160. And that's why. Grievous could hypothetically stun hold though before she gets off her ultimate ability. That's gonna kind of suck. Uh, what's what's her? Let's let me check. Let me check the. Well, let me check SWGH.GG. Let me see what her speed's gonna be in the end, because that's kind of a strategic thing to keep in mind. If if uh, Belevens can stun hold though before she does an ultimate, that's a big counter right there. Where's the ship data? Ship stats. Let's hop over here with me, ladies and gentlemen, while we check this out. All right, let's organize this by speed. Let's see, malevolence, 179, 189, and then Radis, 187. What did I say malevolence was? What did I say? 189 is the uh, negotiator. Home one's 188, and then malevolence is slower, right? 
Yeah. Okay, so at seven stars... <laughs> you guys can't see the speeds. Okay, let me move my camera over to a different side. So here's your capital ship layout. And this is important to kind of time out the alt abilities. Negotiator's faster than home one. Home one's faster than... Uh, where's the Radis? Radis. And then Radis is faster than Malevolence. But... You need to get the seven, you need to get the seven stars to get these ideal stats, and of course, gear thirteen relics, because at this level that we're at the four star variant, the beloved is able to stun us before we can get an alt ability off, and that sucks. It's already bad enough for working with half a body. Hmm. Something to keep in mind, guys. Something to keep in mind. Yeah. Uh, I'm open for suggestions. I'll open the floor to uh, the floor. If people have any uh, other lineups they want to try before we start bumping this up to five, six, seven stars, gear 13 Holdo. I think it's honestly with the, the thing I think is really sucking is not having this. You need seven stars for that eighth upgrade to spell all demons on all allies. That is so big. You see all these vulture droids, the dazes, the buff me, the breach. This would be perfect. Just give to my team. I'm gonna re let me read chat real quick. I think uh, you know. Let's open up to the floor. The Kyber Club. It's uh, our the theory crafters out there. Bump it up. Try Han Solo. Where would you like to see Han Solo? Suicide tank team for Holdo. Okay, I see what you're saying. Just load it up with tanks and survive as long as possible. Again, we're gonna run into that problem against Malevolence. You could get stunned out of Oblivion. Nova Lurker, next Resistance character, Rose's sister, who was on the bomber at the start of the Last Jedi. It'll be the resistance tank. I'm actually wondering if they'll add a resistance bomber and make Rose Tico needed. That would be uh, pretty logical. Be gone, thought. All these bots in chat. That'll be interesting, Noble Lurker. I, I can see that happening. Boston Madman 99, thank you so much for the 20. Hey, Arnold, this is Panos from Discord. Today's my 21st birthday. What better way to spend it than watching my favorite YouTuber? Aw. You're going to make my Imperial Tactical Scanners fog up here. Hope to catch you during a GA uh, to party in the comic, but that's how the cookie crumbles. Oh, you missed the great GA. You missed the great GA, thank you, but thank you so much for the support, and you're here watching us get demolished so far. All right, I see a lot of comments in the chat trying to survive as long as possible. Loading up with tanks, I can do that. And maybe we could do is like a Millennium Falcon, uh, Hans Millennium Falcon in the reinforcements, so we spawn with foresight and everybody. Like, let's just, we'll, we'll give it one or two more shots here, because we're limited on uh, attempts here, of course. We, uh, I, I kind of don't want to cheat and find a, a, a an easier fleet. Uh, let's just keep doing what we're doing here. All right, so we're going to just tank it up. High in a bomber, Biggs was useless. Biggs was absolutely useless. So let's just tank it up and, like, zero resistance ships. Like, zero. What other great, uh, we'll do, uh, that's not, um, there we go, tank there. How is his taunt? He doesn't really taunt, right? You need a lot of Sith to make it work. Maybe we could do Scimitar. I saw some people say use Scimitar. <laughs> we could do it. Roll out the donation train. Thank you, Calvin Van Baron. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Hopefully you guys are learning something from this, except that uh, it's a bit rough right now at four stars. I mean, I kind of understand. I kind of got that was going to happen. I wasn't expecting this to run over seven star relic seven fleets. But I was hoping we could at least get an ultimate off. What are you guys feeling in the last slot? John Kokoza, you're going to get banned, man. Be careful. Be careful, John. I almost thought you were a bot. Oh, yeah, the foresight. Foresight. Umbaran, Ray Falcon, Crew, Fives. Little boy, everyone's got an idea. I'm going to try Hans Falcon. Let's give like a, a round because his, his reinforcement has the foresight. You enter battle, grant everyone foresight, and the rest is kind of useless for this resistance ship. We'll give it a shot. Uh, we're just going to try to tank it up as long as possible. I, yeah, it, it sucks on having at least three reinforcements because putting in the Phantom would be kind of interesting to try to reduce the cooldowns. All right, buff immunity over there. Oh boy, he's taking a beating right now. All right, I don't. If we can stun. This dude, that'd be fantastic, but the chance of a stun... Oh, it can't be resisted. Perfect. There we go. Stop there, taunt for a moment. Let's get the Briache. Get some Breach over on Skywalker. Oh, yeah, we got none. Beautiful. Get some Buzzies on the field. Buzz droids aren't going to be as deadly without Malevolence, unfortunately. No cleanse. We can't do anything funny here. 
Man, like the Malevolence at least has a single cleanse. Like normally I would cleanse off Sunfac at this point. All right, spam it. Try to get these two ships to survive as long as possible. Oh, uh, and without the charge, overcharge, whatever it's called from Malevolence, it's not going to be as durable. Uh, the Hyena Bomber, at least. There goes Sunfact. Not a very long rain. Not a long rain right there. Hey, we can hit the uh, Buzz Droids, but they're not going <laughs> to... Without the rest of the Vulture Droids, it's not going to matter much. Breach? Come on! Nine more turns to go and without resistance ships. I, d I just don't know how this is going to work because you need the resistance ships to reduce the cooldowns if I remember to kick correctly. Um, We don't need the recover protection. Let's just do a hit. Buff immunity. Start with home one negotiator malevolence and then an executor and endurance risk reinforcements. That's probably what you're going to need here. Oh, eight more turns. Yeah, you need those resistance ships, man. Yeah, because every time you re uh, use a special ability from resistance allies, oh, they reduce the cooldowns. Yeah, mm, that's rough. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, boy, that was a waste of move right there. Yeah, I think we definitely have to have a resistance to some extent. All right. Um, trying to think what else we could do here. You need resistance. That's the lesson learned here is that this, this fleet is almost useless without resistance for sure. You need to have the cooldown reductions. All right. I think uh, if anyone else has... Uh, I think it's time to seven star. Yeah, I see a lot of people yelling seven star, seven star. We can try five star before we get that far. We can go ahead and try that. We'll buy all this. This should, if you do the $55, you'll get this to uh, five stars at least. I'm reading a couple more comments to see if there's any great ideas in here. Crew, Hound's Tooth. That's a weird lineup. All right. I don't see anything off the top that it really spices my life up a little bit. Reddit's mirror matches seem like they're going to be going into timeout every time if they're all tanks or same level character kits of resistance ships. I'm not sure if we should be too concerned about that. I don't think Reddit's mirror matches are going to be at least a thing anytime soon. Malevolence and Negotiator are, seem to be the more dominant ships right now for sure. 100%. It's unfortunate we can't really get four stars to be competitive, but again, it could be because we don't really have the right lineup yet, to, if I had to guess. And also, secondly, we're kind of using undergeared ships and characters, so I can't, I can't hate on it too much. But man, I, I just really, that, that mass cleanse seems like it's going to be helpful. Lando, Millennium Falcon, last reinforcement. Yeah, the problem is you need, a, you need like, Lando's Millennium Falcon works a lot better when there's like a full reinforcement lineup, but there's only two reinforcements. Is Lando really that useful? I don't know. What do you think the finalizer will need? You know what? It's kind of funny. I was thinking about that. I, I, I can imagine a finalizer needing four first order ships and like random ships like Gar Saxon. Like who has Gar Saxon? Me, but <laughs> not a lot of people, I bet. All right, one more time, chat. Let me up, open this up. I want to show you my Imperial information here. And... All right, so this, we should be able to have five stars. Always DTF. I already got your comment. I, I, I got you. Thank you anyways, though. I almost read you twice. Almost read you off twice there. All right, so we got five-star Radis now. Uh, at least with the benefit of the five-star, we should be able to have one more reinforcement, and I should be able to upgrade these abilities just a little bit more, not enough to where I'd like it to be. Try a full resistance fleet with Hound's Tooth off the bench. Oof. That's tricky. That's tricky. That's tricky, yeah. Mm, not having a tank at the start, that sounds like it's a mess. That sounds like it's going to be a mess. All right, here we go. Now we can upgrade a little bit more. We kind of still want all that extra stuff at the end, but hey, you know, every little bit should help. Every little bit should help. And pro tip, by the way, if you're someone trying to catch up with all these capital ships, make sure you constantly hoard and purchase these prestige mats assuming you have everything else farmed out of here i just always buy these mats so i can level up these ships right away because i have enough sh uh, materials to level up the ho uh, holdo ship and the future finalizer all right here we go hop back over there uh do you think it's worth uh gear 13 holdo i'm fine if i have to it's not that big of a deal 
it doesn't really in in interfere with the the rest of the stuff I got to gear up. Gear 13 might help a little bit. Might make it a little bit faster. Might make it a little bit. No. Relic 7 Holdo. No, no, not going to do that. <laughs> not going to do that. Not going to Relic 7 her. Wait till 7 stars. Okay. We'll wait till 7 stars. It's not worth it doing it at the 5 star variant. Here we go again, guys. Take 2. Not take 2. It's more like take 5 or 6 at this point. So uh, someone said, just do all resistance at the start and do Hound's Tooth as reinforcement. Let's do it. Let's do it. Resistance. Boom, boom, boom. Trying to max out the cooldown reduction. I like it. Because that's the win condition. If you can't get that ultimate off fast enough, you're going to get stunned and yuck, 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 yuck. And now we have three reinforcements. Now we have wiggle room. You can work with five-star capital ships. Grievous and Negotiator are perfect examples. Or I just say Grievous is perfect. You can, you can take on Relic 7 Negotiators. Seven stars with the five-star Grievous. I showed you guys a gameplay of that a while ago. So there's no excuse that five stars can't really cut it, except that maybe that mass cleanse is what we need the most. Han Solo first before Han's Falcon. Auto Foresight. Yeah, it's true. Poe has the Auto Foresight. Yeah, so... In case you guys are curious, a lot of people are spamming out. People, a lot of people are saying, hey, throw in Han and throw in, because uh, Han gives the force and more force and resistance, the better. What I'll probably do is do resistance, get it getting Poe on the field first. Then maybe we could try bringing in Han for the foresight to top off and all of our resistance ships. And then the last slot, I don't know. We could do Evan Hawk. We could do Lando's Falcon. I, I, I got to be honest. I don't know. This is all. We're, we're learning all this stuff for the first time. Phantom. Plo Koon. Plo Koon actually could be helpful. The thing is, we just got to survive long enough. All right, we'll do Phantom first. I, I I won't argue with that. Getting more ships on the field faster, that's always helpful. And then I'll do Resistance. And then we'll do Han for some more Foresight. No one knows what the ideal lineup is yet, but I, I like every single uh, recommendation you guys are putting out there. Maybe except Negotiator as Reinforcement, because we can't do that. <laughs> All right, we just got to survive to survive. All right, let's spam our specials. Let's go. Thrust reversal. Buff me. Like, that just blows. Like, Houndstooth is just... Houndstooth is just so irrelevant in this lineup right now. We can't do anything. Can't do anything. Got to cleanse. You ne we need a reliable tank. And Houndstooth, unfortunately, is not reliable. Not reliable whatsoever. Yeah, I don't know if starting with Houndstooth makes sense. We can't uh, stop the Anakin's buff meter. Maybe against Malevolence, but I'm not feeling it against uh, this lineup. There we go. We got Breach. It's not going to stick on long. We might Sunfact may be a better choice. Sunfact may be a better choice. I see I see your comment about keeping Houndstooth off the bench. We're just trying random stuff. We have plenty of time to mess around here. Plenty of time. Here we go. Offense down. They kind of screwed us up. And we didn't get the turn meter because of the dazes. All right, we're bringing in the Phantom. Reducing cooldowns on our reinforcements. We should be able to get uh, Poe in here pretty quickly, hopefully. Here we go. Big hit. 44,000. Not in a lot. Cleanse. Come on, Houndstooth. Pull it out for us. I love your channel. You're the best. Well, thank you, Paul. You know, if you say I'm the best, you guys are the best because we all live vicariously through the Kyber Club. Don't you forget about that. We're surviving. I'm liking this so far. We're surviving longer. I don't know if that Houndstooth is viable, though. Uh, that kind of slowed us down. We have the Foresight. Let's do a special. We're going to get more Foresight. Let's just do it. Foresight. Special. Get some target lock. I don't know if that really was necessary. Houndstooth is going to go bye-bye soon. We have to definitely cleanse with the basic. Oh, boy. Is that Ahsoka? It's Ahsoka. Houndstooth might go bye-bye here. Oh, that was weird. They didn't use a special. Uh, just keep going after this dude. All right. There goes Houndstooth. Yeah, Houndstooth. I'm almost feeling there's a resistance ship missing here. Oof! All right, if we could take Skywalker out here, that'd be beautiful. Come on, let's do it, Poe. Special delivery. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh wait, we could do it here. Poe just needed a crit. We just needed a crit there. There goes Ray. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, we're falling apart now. Uh, will this hold? Oh, nah. Houndstooth is trash in the starting lineup for this team. Without the mass cleanse, it's trash. Flying Lay is the missing one. <laughs> uh, 
All right, I, we were getting somewhere. We were definitely getting somewhere. The Houndstooth was the weakest link there. I don't know if the Phantom was... Uh, hmm. I don't know if I like the Phantom there. I don't know. I'm kind of wondering if we should maybe do Plo Koon reinforcement, take out Houndstooth, put Sun Fack in there maybe. Oh, Geo Spy, that'd be fantastic too. Oh man, that's a good. Geo Spy is a fantastic tool to get around tanks. I'm gonna take out Houndstooth right now. I did. I don't like him. That's the first time I could say Houndstooth was not helping us. Houndstooth was not helping us all that much. Sunfac, a little bit more reliable at the start, at least for a few moments until Buff Muni gets smacked on. The Mesa ship looks better now. <laughs> all right. It's this man. How do I organize all this? I like, I really want to get as many resistance on the field as fast as possible. Snoke supremacy confirmed. There's Eric again at the Snoke comments. Uh, crank up the Mando tunes a little bit while we sit here and think. We tried full resistance at the start and it wasn't pretty. We just died too quick. We tried full resistance at start. We need something to soak up the punches. Need something to soak up the punches. It's just I'm trying to figure out what's the... Like, is this, what's this resistance X-Wing doing? Is it even doing anything? I don't know. I don't know if that resistance X-Wing is doing much. I really want Plo in there, man. I'm going to throw in Plo for the time being. I feel like he can be helpful somewhere. Relic boss can... Uh, the problem is not the relicking boss. The problem is he gets buffed me to really and he's useless. Let's try this. Thank you all for the great ideas in the chat. There's a lot of great ideas in the chat. You guys are getting my mind going. You guys are definitely getting my mind going. This is like, so mostly I just want Sun Fact to try to soak this up here. Thrust reversals. Oh, see, so yeah. at least he took the buff community, I guess. I don't know. It seems like almost all oh, gods. So Sun Fact wasn't even helpful here. And at least we got the stun on Hounds, too. Not really what I needed, though. Can't call on it. We can't cleanse. We can't do anything right now. Hordes Holdo's outfit in purple die, Piggy Poo. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Luckily, we don't have to dress up as Holdo today. Not a legendary event, so we don't have to dress up as anything. Oh, God, this is just disgusting. All right, that didn't help out at all either. Mm. I'm not even going to bother. We just lost two resistance ships right there. So far, Capital Games' recommendation is not pulling out. <laughs> Yo, I've got to go see you. By the way, you're my favorite YouTuber in a bit. Oh, thank you so much. Take it easy, Leon. Enjoy the rest of your day. We're definitely missing a ship. I think a resistance bomber, Zori Bliss, if that alleged leak was true. We tried all tanks. It didn't work out too well. Uh, all right. So I want to give this a couple more chances here. Uh, it says, how do we survive the initial onslaught? Maybe, maybe we could try to do tie silence. This is really weird. And take out this X-Wing. It's not doing anything for us. Here's what we're going to do, chat. I'm going to try to give Houndstooth another shot. I'm not sure if it's helpful. Maybe if I could stun Anakin, this might be helpful. That's where the thought's coming from. And then let's start bringing in some resistance ships. We're going to bring in him. Bring in him. I don't know. Bring in Han to top off on some leftover uh, force. I don't know. Let's see how this works out. I, the main reason for the uh, tie sounds is maybe get a stun on somebody. Like right here. If I could stun him, that's beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Turn meter. Thrust reversal. We got the foresight going. Who's calling me? Someone's calling me on Discord right now. Here we go. Breach. Who's trying to call me on Discord right now? Why is Mobile Gamer trying to call me? Hold on, chat. Why is he trying to call me? Yo! Mobile Gamer! You there? Maybe he butt dialed me. Hello there. What are you, what are you, what are you, what are you crashing my stream for? You're crashing my stream. Why'd you call me? I didn't call you. You didn't call me? No, I didn't call you. You're calling me. Oh, no. Is this, is this ship? I'm streaming also. Is this are ship you? Crashed? Are you on Twitch or something? Yeah, I'm on Twitch. Oh. Yeah. 
Uh, you did need you get to, this to work at all? Are you use? Are, did you, are you on your test account? Yeah. See, I'm I doing my main account right now, and uh, mainly because there's you can't get negotiator and malevolence on the test account. So uh, but I can't beat Akbar. Yeah. I can't beat Akbar. I uh, can't beat Akbar. Yeah. I'm getting wiped out with Akbar right now, and I wouldn't put relics, and I wouldn't put the mods on them, and everything. Yeah, I'm not impressed. Is, that's for sure. Um, yeah, this this is nothing. And, and for you, I mean, I can't get anything to work on this. And everybody's just like, "Yeah, this ship is trash," and that you can't get it to work either. And I was like, "Hmm, let's just check it and make sure we're getting yeah, the same results." Yeah, I mean, I'm to be fair, I'm doing five star gear, twelve holdo right now. I'm going to eventually bump up the seven to see if there's something. But the problem is that the under seven star is you don't have what's it called the cleanse ability, and you need that cleanse ability. Yeah, and does Ray do anything at all? Oh God, she's just throwing skittles does at she, the opponents. <laughs> does she do anything at all? Right? She's throwing yeah. yes yeah, uh, skittles right now. Uh, yeah, I mean, so far the most useful thing I've had is the uh, tie silencer. <laughs> That's been the most helpful thing I've had so far. But so far everything else is kind of falling apart. I think we're missing a resistance bomber ship or something. Oh God, mm. I haven't been able to get. Did you have you got off your ultimate ability off once at least? Oh, I just did it right now. Like the alt went off right now, and the Lando was the last thing on there. And and then I do I drawed. Oh my god, it didn't draw. <laughs> I was just, just talking to you. Oh my god. Oh. So all right, well, I'll let you get back to your stream. I just wanted to check in with you to see if there was anything. I'm just like, I don't even it's like I I was hoping to like Oh, well, you know what they're saying though? What? Is that there's a Space Leia tank incoming. Ah, <laughs> Space Leia, that's what we were saying. Mary Poppins Leia. Yeah. Oh, uh, like we tried a lot of stuff. We tried like front loading like a bunch of tanks, but the problem is if you don't have any resistance on the starting field, it takes forever to get to the ultimate ability. You need to get, you, a, you need something in there. Is it, is it, do you know you don't have to even play the event? You could just buy the shards for, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You I mean, don't even just like 12.50 a piece and you get 10 shards. Here you go. I mean, this is not a, a, a this is not a, a, a paywall for real whales. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> you just no, buy no. it. Yeah, I mean, for I mean, it's, this it's, is, it's a veteran friendly event. If you've been playing for a, 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 like since oh, yeah. the beginning, you can I get the ship. It. Yeah, uh, but I'm not sure. I mean, I, yeah, if you're not even beating Akbar, I don't know. Um, cause that like that Akbar should at least be like a baseline place to start off. Uh, and plus you on the test and you have, you have a uh, gear 13 holdo, right? I think or something like that. Yeah. I've, every, I, I took everything to 13. I put six stock mods and everything. And I'm just like, I'm going up against Spartans Akbar count and nothing. I mean, I, I don't know. It's just like, dude, if you can't beat Akbar. So I don't I know. I think we're I, missing a ship. Maybe, uh, maybe I think two. It, maybe two ships. It's, I mean, to be fair, we only have three resistance ships right now. They're all so outdated. Mm -hmm. So Ray does nothing. nothing. Yeah, I, she's just throwing skittles and spinning. And <laughs> this is trooper. Pretty much does nothing. Also, I mean, there's an ability that does nothing. I mean, yeah. third ability does nothing. I I, can't, I don't get it. All right. Well, I'm gonna. I had some bad cinnamon toast crunch. Apparently, <laughs> they don't have cinnamon toast crunch. No, the milk was bad. Oh, and so I've been wanting to puke the whole time. Oh god. And so, and then I've been trying to optimize my my crumb sound effects. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> there <know>. we go. <laughs> Is that pretty close? Oh, that sounds that sounds good. It sounds good. Yeah, they don't have cinnamon toast crunch in Australia. Isn't what? that a sad world we live in? That's insane, like, man. No I cinnamon mean, toast like crunch. Yeah, cinnamon toast crunch is like puppies, right? Everybody yeah. likes puppies, right? Cinnamon toast crunch, man. That's and, a crime. Yeah, just like I feel so bad. Like I need to go to Australia right now and and market cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> they need. They, they don't know what they're cinnamon missing. Cinnamon toast crunch in Australia. They you don't know, know what, what they're missing. They, oh. they have no idea. All right, I'll let you back to your stream. All right, well, thanks for checking in. I'm glad you, we kind of are on the same page so far. Yeah, let me know if you find anything. Yeah, I'll let you know. Bye. All right, peace. Mobile gamer, ladies and gentlemen, stopping in to check on us. But yeah, so far, nothing going on in his world. Slightly unfortunate. Slightly unfortunate. All right, where were we? So he's got a so on, he's doing a test account. He's trying to battle the rebels. If you can't, if you guys do, you didn't catch up on that conversation. And uh, he's having a hard time. Uh, I don't. I need this ability so bad if we're gonna compete at the top end. He got the ability to go off once, but he timed out or lost or something. Rework the Radis. See, I don't know. I mean, the, the capital ship in theory is really cool. I don't know if it's because we just don't know the lineup yet. They tried against Grand Moff. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cubs' thumbnail, Radis looks awesome. <laughs> 10 out of 10. A little too soon to say that, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. So I... 
So unfortunately, I don't know if I can give a seal of approval, at least as of now, the stuff we tested that five star is going to be usable up against this. Uh, that mass cleanse seems too clutch. And the, the thing is that I'm noticing is that we're having a hard time surviving the initial onslaught. And that's the beauty of the malevolence and negotiator. They, they both can survive initial onslaughts. Praising the basic of the Radis. Why did, why did Streamlabs hide your comment, dude? Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. Streamlabs is hiding normal comments. How goes the hype? Hey, the event was pretty hype. Event was pretty hype. Uh, the care of the ship itself? I don't know. Let me see. Let me read you guys real quick. Uh, I think... Uh... Yeah, lack of synergy. Yeah, we need, we need more force. There. That's the problem. The thing is, if you start all resistance to do Han, like, I'll do that now. We're going to get blown out of the water at the start. You need... Like, uh, we could... Uh, that high silence thing was actually kind of nice. That was actually pretty helpful. But the thing is, we're going to get de demolished. They're going to do their AOE days and assist. And if you don't have a tank, there's not much you could do. What's better, Endurance or Radis? <laughs> I mean, at least the Endurance has uh, a lot of Republic ships to work with. Like, wh what do you do here? I mean, we could try Hound's Tooth here and then do Han to... But, like, there's no resistant ships now, so spamming force, that doesn't really help out at all. Uh, this is going to be the last try, I think, with uh, Low Star uh, Holdo before we go crazy here and try to do something else. And then um, I'll do Ebon Hawk. I, I like the Ebon Hawk in theory in the last slot or Jedi Anakin or something. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's just do Ebon Hawk. I like the mass buff this spell. <laughs> Dan Swa, don't didn't think it was possible, but she's worse at SWGH than she is in the movies. Thanks for being a whale, so we didn't have to. That's why I do this. I don't want people wailing out on this stuff until they know how good these things are. That's exactly why I do it. I don't wail on this game for personal enjoyment. I do it for entertainment. We have something to talk about. We have something to stream. It, free to play players know that they might not have to rush to this. Pay to play players know that, all right, maybe there's not a reason to get this ship right now. It's just going to inflate my GP, and it's not really a crazy ship, but I'm, I'm glad you enjoy it. And Power Arts, we're going to try our best. Thanks for the $2 to spread that force out and resistance more. It's just it's difficult to do that. So what we're going to do is try to stun this fool. Perfect. We're not going to get buff beauty on uh, Hound's Tooth, at least, which is helpful. Let's do Thrust Reversal. Do a little spin move, reducing cooldowns. All right, we should hopefully... Okay, I, I could work with that. I could work with that. All right, um, Foresight... So here's the thing, do I want to do, here, let's do this. Let's try to get Tenacity up on the Hound's Tooth before Anakin does his AoE. Perfect. Resisted. Pi Silencer did its thing. We, we were just, we had to stall out the initial buff immunity. Okay. Uh, I'm not impressed with Millennium Falcon though right now. Not all that helpful. Okay. Okay. Bring it in Poe. Poe Daddy. More re, more force it on the field. Okay. Let's hold on. We're getting somewhere. Let's get some offense up going. Uh, that tenacity is really helping right now. That The way we timed all that is actually being very helpful. Very helpful. All right. Oh, man. It's too bad we can't get over to Sky Guy. I think they're going to bring an unending loyalty soon. Big hit. Nothing. Millennium Falcon being next to useless right now. All right. Turn meter. Protection up. We're surviving right now. That's a big thing. <laughs> We're actually surviving, but we can't get around. Ebon Hawk, that's where we need you. They're going to bring in the uh, unending loyalty in a second, I believe. Oh, no, Ahsoka's coming in right now. Ahsoka. Oh, lucky. Evasion right there. Okay. Don't hit anyone else. We don't want to give a Houndstooth any Terminator. We're trying to set us up for a big hit. Come on. Yes. All right. Hold on to your horses, chat. Hold on to your horses. All right. Now, we uh, let's just start putting hits on um, Ahsoka or something. All right, here comes the taunt. We're making we're making some progress. Some progress. Don't get too cocky yet, chat. Ugh, that's why I said don't get cocky yet. I need a taunt. Need a taunt like yesterday, Hound. Hound's Tooth coming up with another taunt. There we go. We got a taunt. All right, what we're going to do here, no sense in bringing an Ebon Hawk because we got uh, Breach on us. Let's do, let's do Falcon. Okay, we're getting somewhere, though. We're making some sort of minuscule progress. Let's get our thing going. Got some force that we didn't really need. Poe already had force at the begin with. Here comes the ultimate. Mm. 
That was the best run we've had so far. That was the best run we've had so far. Is she going to survive long enough? Oh, man. Two more turns. Ha! Hmm. We were kind of getting somewhere. Kind of. I don't know if we needed Han Solo that time because all of our resistance had the foresight they needed. So Han Solo may have been kind of dead weight there. F for Poe. Thank you, Bad Cobra. Rest in Pepperoni Poe. Oh, if we unlock by buying shards, will we still need to complete the event to get the 20 shards a month? I don't know. It's a great question. Always DTF. I honestly can't answer that question. I'm assuming you have to beat the event to get the event to reoccur every month. Ha! Oh. Then we have another super chat. I think I caught up. I think I caught up. Thank you guys so much for all the super chats. Thank you very much. Um, I mean, that you have to admit, that was our best run yet. We were close to our Alta. We just needed more resistance ships. X-Wing on reinforces. Let's do it. So the thing that worked out, we're going to take out Hans Falcon. He didn't help out much. We had kind of the foresight covered. That's not it. That's not it. Jeez. Is that it? Yeah. All right. Stun Anakin. Prevent buff from you. That's kind of, it's very RNG dependent. If you don't land that stun, this whole thing falls apart. So we're going to bring in hopefully three resistance ships. We need this opening move right here to work. See, like RNG dependent, we lost. We lost right here. If you can't get that stun on Sky Guy, you're done for. Buff community coming in soon. Days is RNG dependent. So I can't even say this is going to be, um, yeah. Hmm. At least we didn't get buff immunity, so that's kind of helpful. Uh, not as helpful as I would like it to be. Oh, was that 108,000 damage? Oh, wow. That was the most I saw her churn out there. That was actually really nice. 108,000 damage on Sky Guy. We churned through all that protection right there. All right. What we're going to do is give the tenacity up over... Oh, hold on. This doesn't give any uh, foresight. Let's give the tenacity to Houndstooth. Let's see if we can try to make him survive. That was a big hit. Big hit. Now, if we keep doing that over and over again, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> All right, just go after this dude for right now. No sense in banging our head up against the uh, Hound's Tooth there. All right. Reinforce. Oh, Geo Spy. That was another ship I wanted to try out here. A lot of ships I really want to try out. Oh, uh, let's just... We have, to get, we have to get these resistance ships out on the field, like ASAP. Special. Reducing cooldowns on the ultimate. Basic. Cleanse. There we go. Come on. 29,000... Big hit. 110,000. There we go. Poe woke up. We prevented the, the buff immunity. There we go. There we go, chat. That tenacity on Hound Tooth seems to be kind of helpful. Get that target lock off. Let's get that garbage off. There we go. Give the protection up to the crew. We have foresight, but no specials to go along with it. Ooh, so we need... Oh, here it comes. Big bomb. Big drop. Ah. Yikes. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't kill Poe. Don't kill Poe. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. At least we're getting the Hound Suit to survive longer. That's the main improvement we're having so far. Is that we're getting uh, a lot of work done on the, the at least the starting part. <laughs> and there he goes. There he goes. Yeah, we tried stunning. That was the whole strategy, Eric. We tried stunning Anakin, but uh, it, we missed it at the beginning. All right. Should we just do seven stars now? Take it all the way. Get the mass cleanse. I don't know. I think it's... There might be a world where you can make it happen when we find the ideal lineup, but oof. It's rough. It's rough. It's rough. Rough, 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 rough. Let's just do it. Uh, I liked what we had going on there. It's just a matter of survivability. Thank God, Holdo doesn't seem to be working well. I don't need the farmer now. She gets yeah, three stars, level one. I'll go for Malevolence instead. For sure, Malevolence and Negotiator, I think, are the better capital ships without... Even when reading the kits for the Holdo. Uh, Holdo might be needed for the upcoming Raven. That's really the only reason I'd say the, maybe if you need... like those. Uh, let's not get into Galactic Legends talk. We already know the requirements are absurd. Absolutely absurd. So, uh, I mean, the chance of you getting Ray day one, probably slim. Probably slim. All right, let's do it. I got some crystals saved up. 
or I should say whaled up before we started streaming today. It costs about $250 in total. I think that's actually the max. It's going to be like $250 because it's always the same shards over and over again. I think it's just they're probably missing like kind of like how you need the Heine Bomber to make the malevolence work. You're probably going to need Zori Bliss or Resistance Bomber. I'm thinking that's what it's going to be. Uh, one more time. All right, so we got six stars. Let's try a six star battle. And then we'll do one more for the seven stars afterwards. Do the last stage of the event is cheaper. I'm not going to keep you guys on the stream for 10 hours. <laughs> we talked about that earlier. Uh, if you really care about saving the 250 crystals per refresh, yeah. Then, yeah, I guess you can go for it. But uh, I'm, for streaming purposes, it's not ideal to uh, do that. 50% turn meter game. We haven't gotten this off once so far in our testing. Arnold, please read my super chat. Did I miss you, Powerhouse? I thought I got you, boy. Wait, where are you at? Where are you at? Powerhouse. Biggs, Vader, and Ray deflect their shield on Biggs. See, my only concern is, again, we need to get the resistance ships on the field. Yeah. Um, we'll see. If, if we're really banging our heads, we can't get any wins. We, we can definitely try it out. I like how Tony's bringing back the chicken, the chicken sandwich conversation again. <laughs> oh, we're definitely past that conversation, but Popeyes is all right too. Oh, we need more. We need the whale hard chat. Oh God. Oh, not the most exciting thing to whale on. I don't know if I'm going to get any benefit out of it unless we need it for a raise event. So far, I don't know. I'm sure after, I'm, I'm going to be doing some more testing on my off time when I'm off the stream. Maybe I'll go on Twitch later and we'll do some more testing to find something. Uh, but right now, not a lot. Not a lot to say we can find valuable out of this. All right. Um, what did I like? What didn't I like here? That X-Wing is just trash. You know, let's just level Poldo. A little part of me died right there. Not something I was planning on doing, but you know what? I think it's just for testing. We kind of need to at least get a gear 13. Yikes. That, it, I died a little inside there. <laughs> Join Blade. Have you gotten the Kamikaze off? Thank you so much for checking in on us, Dr. Nah, no CDN. The only time we got it off was the um, event. <laughs> That's the only time we got off. We have not gotten it off once in Fleet Arena, but we're trying our best. Stun, beautiful. Spinning move. Okay. All right, we got. It. Hopefully, we can get our taunt off here. All right, beautiful. Let's get that tenacity on the hound's tooth. This ability, right? Tenacity on hound's tooth, so we can stop the buff immunity. That is like the only thing working out in our favor right now. I know gear thirteen holder. Your eyes are burning. I think so too, man. Oh no, we lost our tenacity up. That's gonna kill us now. That's gonna kill us. That's going to kill our Hound's Tooth up. Yeah, goodbye. Stun Hound Tooth. There we go. We can't cleanse. We need, like, right now, that cleanse would be handy. Bring it in, Poe. Let's try to reduce those Admiral's Maneuver cooldowns. There we go. Hound's Tooth is gone. Thanks for trying. Kylo's gone. The most useful ship in this Resistance lineup has been Kylo Ren so far. It's kind of sad. Kind of sad. Oh, a buff unity there, so no more foresight. Big hit. Mm. Galactic Republic fleet with Holdo. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That how the, the like I like what we had going on there with the Kylo Ren stuns and all that, trying to control the beginning game for us. Watch you do that to Holdo's nightmare. Yeah, I gotta say, Brad, not that wasn't something I was enthusiastic about. Not enthusiastic about it. <laughs> it's funny. Kylo has been the most helpful thing in this Radis lineup so far. But most likely, he's going to be helpful for the finalizer when we got to do that. I'm at least excited for that. What else can we do here, chat? Is it just the seven stars? It might. Maybe it's just the seven stars. Let's just knock it out. Let's just pull the band-aid off. We need to pull this uh, ten more times. I don't know. Do we have enough? I don't know if we're going to have enough. I mm, Maybe. 
Yeah, Relic won Holdo. If you would have told me two years ago when Holdo was released, three years ago, right? No. She was released in 2018. If you would have told me I will eventually have a Relic one gear 13 Holdo, I would have laughed at your face, but here we are now, Chad. How, in the words of the great Michael Scott, how the turntables. <laughs> and how poetic is that? How poetic is that? We got to do it one more time. You have a seven star Radis and no luck so far. Nate Miner, rest in pepperoni. I'm sorry to hear that, bud. Sorry to hear that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is going to be our seven star Radis pack opening today, as promised, as we do on these streams. You know, I mean, not every single thing needs to be God tier amazing. That's one thing I've realized from testing almost every single brand new thing. But, hmm. Like, it's kind of rough not seeing this at least be mildly competitive. Terminator gain right there. Let's hope I can get use out of this in Grand Arena or Territory Wars, because right now, man, I don't know what I'm going to use the ship for. This is the thing I've been eyeing the whole time. This is the cherry on top. I don't think it's going to guarantee us a win, but at this spelling all Divas and all allies, that's like a big ability right there. See, I, I see your comment, Creston. I mean, usually in Grand Arena, I put Malevolence or Negotiator on defense. I don't know where Radis is going to fit into all this. And let's level this up. I don't know what we're going to use it for. We haven't gotten the, the ability off once. And, uh, I mean, over time, we are, I mean, over time, because of the absurd Galactic Legends requirements, we're going to eventually have Ray geared up, Poe, and Resistance Pilot. But I don't think that's the missing piece because let me put this in perspective, guys. Maybe this is, though, that maybe, maybe it's unfair to make this comparison. My Malevolence fleet, my Separatist fleet, I've been running five star Malevolence since I got it. I mean, now it's six stars, but look, gear 12 Sunfact, gear 12 Spy or Soldier, Relic Spy, Relic 4, and then these two guys right here. And I've been using these guys at five, six, now seven stars. I've been able to beat top end number one negotiator Relic 7, seven stars with gear 12 low star fleets every single time rarely lose five percent of the time i lose because maybe i wasn't paying attention or something but basically every single time it's more consistent doing a, a negotiator mirror match yet here we are with this ship and we can't get five stars to work i think it's because they gated the important abilities behind it all let's try to get i really would like to at least get one hold those maneuver off today i'd feel pretty good about that like we could debate all day about these reinforcements and reinforce, but if we can't get back there, it's not useful. Let's try this real quick. I'm going to try to take it like that X wing. I don't know, man. It's not doing much. I'd, I would like to get like another tank to kind of hop in here. Take that out. Ah, what about this? Uh, what if we just do this? We're going to just, uh, I mean, the Hound's Tooth, let's just try to survive the initial onslaught. Might not work out. And then we'll put, uh, where's that Lando's Falcon or whatever they want us to use? Way down there. Level one Lando's Falcon right here. CG, require, CG requirements are whale only. Also, CG. Did we say whale? Sorry, we've been cracking. Yeah. After internal review, we realized this uh, Galactic Legends is a cracking event, not a whale event. We apologize for any confusion. Ah, uh, see, this... Way too RNG dependent right there. If you can't land those stuns, goodbye. Thanks for trying. Bring Boba as a tank. Yeah, I don't know, man. See, that kind of blows there. Like, the, our strategy relies on will Kylo get a stun? Here we go. I can dispel all debuffs now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Pull that off there. I like this. This was just that, that right there alone made a huge difference. All right. Unending loyalty's off. There's no taunt on Hound's Tooth. We do have a taunt there, unfortunately. They're gone, though. Let's see. Can we survive for a reinforcement here? <laughs> I don't know if we're going <sighs> to... Oh. All right, here we go. I don't know if I like this at all. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's just do it. All right. Oh, wait, I forgot. Crap, the taunt reappears. Ah, big misplay right there. I don't think it would have made a difference, though. Hmm. Is there any way we can fit in Genosi and Spy somehow? Ho Ray Hounds Tooth. Yeah, we tried that before. It didn't really get much luck out of it. But we can try again, of course. Let's try to go back to what we tried earlier on. Alright, this is uh, definitely not the... <laughs> wow, look at that resistance fleet. Looking good. Underdog harder. 
<laughs> All right, so let's try to go back to what we were doing at the very beginning. We were trying things like uh, Poe and Ray at the start with Houndstooth. I mean, I, I really like that Kylo thing, though. The Kylo thing was really good. The Kylo thing was really good at the start. But the problem is it's just not uh, reliable enough. Not really reliable. And then we can maybe do... Uh, what do you guys want the reinforcements now? We can do... We have, we have all the reinforcement slots open. Bruh, my OP General Skywalker, you're number one in my heart. You're number one in my heart. All right, let's see Jacob. I like what Jacob says here. All right. Bring in another resistance ship. They're saying X-Wing. Then they're also saying Anakin and Eben. And then the last slot, I don't even know if we're going to get there, but we can put something in there. Uh, Anakin and then, uh, wait, 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 what was, what was it again? Hold on, I lost you. Uh, Eben Hawk, because we all know he was at the battle during that final stand for the resistance. There we go. And then lastly, I don't know. Let's just throw in Lando's Falcon. It sounds cute if we can ever make it happen. Let's try again. Try again. Turn meter. All right. Turn cooldown reduction. Okay. Houndstooth is going to miss out. Houndstooth is going to miss out here, unfortunately. Ooh, need to survive. All right. Thrust reversal. All right, cleanse. Get that breach off us. There we go. Breach is gone. Oh, this is kind of a waste of a big attack there. Not going to do much up against him. I need to get that Hound's Tooth taunt up. Come on, Houndy. Let's get a taunt off here. Watch out for the big hit. And he's gone. This can this team cannot get a tank to do something at the beginning. You need Kylo Ren to make the Hound's Tooth viable. It's like it's impossible. Oh! Oh, wow, wow, wow! What in tarnation just happened there, chat? Holy cow! What just happened there? Ray, what was she just did she pull out the big Skittles right there? Holy cow! Finally, something happened there. My gosh. Ray, do it again. Do the do the do the magic hand thing again. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. Um whoosh. Whoa. Oh my god, I haven't seen her hit that hard today. Okay. Uh, we're not done yet. I mean, Houndstooth is definitely a problem we were having. Alright, we're gonna get that tenacity up over to him. I don't think it's gonna last long because he's gonna he's 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 on he's barely hanging on here. Barely hanging. Oh, we got an assist. Okay. She brought the MMs, man. She brought the MMs. She ain't using those Skittles no more. Target lock. Oh my god, 70% chance to expose. Yuck talk about a garbage ability oh uh, let's just do this let's go after let's, uh, he's gonna lose that taunt let's just go over here come on couple more assists oh nice evasion come on i'm feeling it chat that big hit from ray could mean a lot for the resistance oh crap <laughs> well she ran out of m&m's chat my gosh oh boy oh boy all right well we're gonna kind of go in order with one of that recommendations in chat all right, let's get all oh, big hit right here, please. Annie, let's do something. The exposes should kind of synergize well here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, he's gone. Come on. Oh, like I wish we had buzz droids, man. Big hit. Yes. Come on, guys. Hold on. Don't lose hope. Can we get hold those maneuver out at least once? At least once. Yes! Yes, we did it, chat! We did it! We're gonna get the maneuver off now! Let's do it, my gosh! Finally! You fool! Oh, look at that sight. All right. There we go. Reinforcements! Let's turn the tide in our favor, chat. Let's take out Ahsoka Tano. Which one hits a couple times? Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. I don't know what I want to do here. I just want to like, kill someone. Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, there we go. We're not done yet, chat. We're going to pull off a win here. There we go. Buff the spell. Beautiful. Come on, stick with us. Come on. Almost there, guys. They lost their capital ship. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we may have just gotten the world's first Holdo victory against the Negotiator! game there chat wow wow you were here for it holy cow gary you're easy easy worlds i i honestly i wonder if that's like the world's first like holdo victory against a negotiator relic seven negotiator holy cow there's a couple great donations to chat hold let's let's bring back and bring it back a little bit you make this game so fun says uh, jacus the great thank you so much you truly are the greatest admiral in the galaxy. We just saw it right here. Thank you for being the best YouTuber there is. You know, you guys flatter me. I mean, I you know, I saw Post Malone the other day. Side story. I know we're kind of buzz killing our excitement here. That was a big game right there. Every single song that guy sang, he kept saying, thank you so much for all your support, blah, 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 blah. And then he kind of went on the story about how a couple years ago, he was in a closet and this one song overnight changed his life. And it's because of all the fans. It got him to where he is. You know, I'm like sitting there. It's like, you know what? I feel the same exact way a couple of years ago. I know we, we're on the we're on the deadly star story now, but a couple of years ago, I was just some guy in a in a closet recording. Gary was he was like a tiny little head, but because of your guys' overwhelming support to the Kyber Club, to me, it's we've grown this amazing community together. So I appreciate the kind words, Jack. But really, at the end of the day, I'm nothing without you guys. You guys are making dreams come true here today, and we see that right behind us today. So I want to thank each and every one of you guys so much for supporting us. We're not done with the stream yet, but, you know, thank you so much for the generosity, but... I'm nothing without you guys. Without the Imperial Might from each and every one of you, there would be no Empire. Just remember that. Take that to the bank. Whew! Man, that was an intense battle. Guys, I don't know if we're going to be able to replicate that. I don't honestly know what worked there. We just kind of got... I think it was really Ray. She hit like a monster. That was the battle she like hit for over 100 some thousand damage and blew away to Hound's Tooth. I don't know if we're going to replicate that. We're going to try our darn this to do that again. And then Peter Holmes. Hey, boy. I've been working a lot lately. And this is the first time I'm catching a stream in a while. Keep up the great work. Love you, brother. God bless. Sending love right back at you, Peter. You tuned in at a great time. Oh, yeah, we got to call Mobile Gamer, right? I missed your dono, Jacob. Oh, no, Jacob, hold on. Jacob, hold on. Hold on, Jacob. John Jacob, Jingle Hypersmith. There we go. My recommendation worked. Woohoo! Yeah, Jacob, I think that that exposes from the Anakin ship really helped out. That really turned the tide in our favor. Great recommendation. I don't know if that's the lineup, but it worked. And I don't know what worked, to be honest. I, there's things that worked there, but we got to replicate that again. And then Boston Madman 99, 870 likes and 2,654 people watching. Did you guys not just see the world's first Amlin Holdo victory? Come on, show a brother some love. Let's call Mobile Gamer up. Fine. Everyone's telling me, got to call it Mobile Gamer. Let's call him up. Let's see if he's available. Let's phone a Mobile Gamer. Yo, yo. Hello. Call, answer the phone. Come on. Come on. Answer the phone. Is he still streaming on Twitch? Maybe we missed out on some, uh, might miss the call. Cause when you're streaming, you can't hear the phone calls coming. All right. Well, if he calls us back, the call is back. I'll pay attention. All right. Bring it back over here. All right, guys. He's streaming on Twitch. Well, if he wants to call me, my line is open. Call Cubby. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's just Ian is about to wheel on this ship. Rest in peace. Oh my gosh. It's not, I, I don't know if this ship is worth it yet. I mean, we did keep in mind, we did really punch up quite a lot. Gear 12, gear 12, gear 12, gear 12, gear 13, gear 12, level one, gear 12. We did punch up quite a lot. We got to give uh, he's calling back. Here he is. He's calling back phone call hello what is up fam squad Woo, we just won a negotiator battle how 
Uh, I honestly don't know. <laughs> it just kind of worked. So uh, what really happened is that Ray's Millennium Falcon, she actually did something. She did an AOE hitting for like over 100k each and like blew away the Hound's Tooth. So that was actually very helpful. And I uh, and then I we did Resistance X-Wing as first uh, reinforcement. Then Anakin, because he has a bunch of exposes. So that really helped. And Evan Hawk, and uh, we got it off eventually. Uh, we didn't actually... Uh, really? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try it again in a second, but that we actually got it off against Negotiator. Relic 7, 7, Sun Negotiator. So uh, we're going to try our best to replicate it. But everyone yeah, told well, me I had to call I, you there, back. There is, there is potential on Ray's kit to do a lot of damage. You yeah. can get enough buffs on her. And I wonder if there's just another character that's just going to load like every buff in the world on her. Mm -hmm. And then she AOEs and kills everybody. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's because she dispels all buffs in the Falcon and deal physical damage to all enemies and 30% bonus damage for each buff dispelled. So you just got to try to load on the buffs on her before she uh, does that big attack. But yeah, I mean, we, um, it kind of worked. I don't know the consistency. I mean, to be fair, we went up against Relic everything and we were using gear 12 ships. So that was kind of impressive. It's kind of impressive. Well, but, I mean, if you can duplicate. Hey, we're going to try mean, duplicating. That was a one-time yeah, victory. On, off on offense, you should be able to win, right? Yeah, that's kind of the minimum you would hope for, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, defense, man, that's something else, right? Jeez, I, yeah. The problem is it relies too much on the Hound's Tooth right now. And, um, yeah. yeah, that's kind of, uh, and the Hound's Tooth is needed for, I'd rather use that for Negotiator than uh, yeah, this. Or, yeah, you need a, we need a, we need a, a, a uh, Carrie Fisher tank. <laughs> yeah, the Carrie oh. Fisher tank. <laughs> Oh, all right. Well, my chat just kept saying, you got to call Mobile Gamer back. So that's all I want to tell you. We could talk later again if you want. All right. I'm going to switch over to Marvel Strike Force for now and then right. because they, some, a new event just went live. So I'm going to check it out. All right. Whale hard, my brother. Boy. Boy. Mobile Gamer for the second time today, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Yeah, we're going to try Malevolence this time. I kind of want to see what goes on at the Malevolence. This is not going to be the greatest malevolence in the world. Five stars, but do not underestimate five-star malevolences. As I said, they can beat seven-star negotiators. They can beat seven-star negotiators. So it is a solid fleet to go up against for testing. And I think I missed a couple donations when I was talking there. Uh, I always need to have the resistance is built on luck. I think we may have gotten lucky there. We're going to try this again. Like, but against malevolence this time. And then we're going to try negotiator a few more times. We got lucky. Yeah, these bots are annoying. I honestly don't know how to stop these guys. They're just ruining my life right now. Try my best. Try my best. All right, here we go. We got to start spamming the specials. Luckily, no buff immunity here, which is kind of nice. Now, we don't need to do this right now. We're going to save that. What I will do is get the tenacity up going over on him. There we go. There we go. Tenacity up on our hound too, trying to mitigate buff immunity from the vulture droid. Beautiful. We actually got an evasion right there, which is fantastic. All right, we'll cleanse it up in a second. Let's do a little dance, do a little spinning move. All right, let's get a big hit. Let's try to go after... Oh, we can't critical hit. Let's go after Sun Fact then. Come on, big hit. Bam. All right. Ooh, do I want to... You know what? We can survive for a few more seconds here. You know what would be really great is calling in a ship that gives more buffs to the team. Like if, if Ray could get a couple more buffs... That'd be fantastic. Let's just go start spamming our resistance ships onto the field. All right. I honestly don't know which one I want to do here. Target lock. Expose. I kind of don't want to pull the taunt off behind a bomber, so we're going to just do that. It's not really needed. I just need to, I need to spam a special. That's what I need to do. Ooh, I think we're going to lose Hounds. No, he might survive here. All right, so we got a lot of stuff here. I don't know if this is going to kill off high in the bomber, but we're going to try our best. I really want to make sure we maybe at least take out Sun Fact here. Big hit. Ooh, 106 on that crit chance down. Kind of ruined things a little bit. Kind of ruined things just a little bit there. Let's cleanse off those. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, you know what? Let's just keep, let's finish off Sun Fact before it gets another stun in here. Okay. Cleanse time, baby. Bringing it in. That's the seven-star benefit right here. Protection up on the field. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We could probably... Ooh, that's going to kill it off too fast. Let's just do this. Let's just try to go after this Hyena Bomber. It double exposes. Come on. Dazes. Oh, basically, let's just go for it. Come on. Go for the big kill. Ooh, Hound's Tooth is soaking up the punches day and night. Okay, almost there. Get that offense down off. Ooh, yo, 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 yo. Okay, got a stun. 
All right, now we're kind of forced to go after. Oh, almost killed up. This is looking a little better, but remember, this is not a god tier team. Oh, that's a waste. That's a waste. Let's just kill him off right here. Boom, 46,000. He's gone. All right, reinforcing time. Bringing in Skywalker now. We just got to be careful with these AoEs, man, because if we AoE too much, we're going to kill way too many Vulture droids. Like, we're going to kill one off right here. Oh, we're good, actually. We're good. We're good. We're good. Come on. Basic. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is looking better than our earlier attempts. Again, five star, five star. Let's put the clarification out there. But better than nothing. Okay. Do a little spinning move. Let's get that taunt up here. And Ray might be able to wrap this up when she takes a turn. Oh, my gosh. Two times. Two times, ladies and gentlemen. The two-time back-to-back Holdo Maneuver champion right here. Get out of here. Bam. Grievous didn't see that coming. And they're done for. They're done for. They are done. Get this fool out of here. Bam. Oh, come on, Ray. Get his, I want a big AoE from Ray. I got to get a big AoE from Ray. Oh, I think Skywalker took the win. All right. Woo. There we go. Climbing up. Climbing up. This is what I want to try again, chat. And I, oh, you know what? Let's do seven star Malev uh, Malevolence first, then seven star negotiate. We're making progress today. Arnold the Dr. D fan. Hell yeah, man. Dr. D's where it's at. Back, what's, what, what's this thing? A two time back to back. 1993, 19, is it 1993, 1994, 1992, 1993? I can't remember. Whatever the case may be, he's, he's the, the N, N, NBA something champion. Whatever the case may be, he's awesome. All right, that was great. Let's do a seven star. Seven star here. They're mixing up no sun fac here. This might be a little bit trickier. Okay. Buzz droids early. Not a lot of buzzies. Not a lot of buzzies. Okay. Get our thing going here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to... Do I just want to mass cleanse right now? Do I really need to put Tenacity up? I think they already burnt off their first few abilities, so I think we might as well try to get these buzzies off us. There we go. Get some turn meter. Get an ability block. That does suck. We maybe should have waited it out. Maybe should have waited it out. All right, come on. They're bringing it. Falcon with Malevolence. That is insane. Never seen that before. All right, bringing in our X-Wings. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. How do you decrease the cooldown on Holdo's maneuver? You need to have four set on your resistance ships, and you need to spam a special ability. You need to spam a special ability. Like, right now, we're going to reduce the cooldowns. Boom. Cooldown reduced. That's what you want to do. All right, finally, doing our little spinning move here. Let's get that Hyena Bomber out of here. Come on. Okay. Mm Not too concerned yet. Tenacity up over on the Hounds 2. Let's keep him alive as long as possible. Cleansing off that ability block. Come on. Let's get this bomber out of here. Once this bomber is out of here, I feel pretty good. The bomber is the problem because all that mass AoE garbage is bad for us. Boom. Almost there. Here we go. Smashing the AoE. Slow it down, chap. There we go. Making progress, ladies and gentlemen. We're making progress, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we do these streams. You know, we struggle at first and eventually... I read a great recommendation in chat, and then we get a group. We are starting to get progress. Here we go. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's just smash it. Boom. Buff immunity. Can we kid it? Uh, he's going to cleanse it in a second. Ah. Oh, well. Little short lived here. Little short lived. I think they screwed themselves up not doing uh, Geo Spy there. That's a, kind of a bad idea. I mean, it's, it's a good ship, but you definitely would much rather have Geo Spy there. Big hit. Come on. I, we're almost to hold this maneuver again, chat. I don't think we even lost a single ship yet. We haven't lost a single ship yet. Oh, I don't want to kill anyone off yet. Let's just do a basic. Don't want to kill any vulture droids up. Do not give them turn meter. Do not give them 11s any turn meter. All right, they're bringing in Sun Factor. Ooh, we lost the ship finally. Okay. I think we're almost to hold those maneuver, you fool. Fool. Get out of here. Bam. I brought you into this world, Grievous. I can take you out. Three times in a row. Is this three or four times in a row we've gotten this to work? All right. We're looking Gucci up in here, chap. And I can go all out on these Vulture droids now because I'm not going to give any more turn meter to Grievous. We can go all out on these fools. Wow. Ah. 
Yeah, baby. Oh, snap. The problem is I don't feel comfortable using Jedi Anakin in here because you need that for Grand Arena and Territory Wars. Boom. Just smash it. Take the... Woo. Jeez, I didn't get a happy birthday from Arnold. Boston, it's your birthday? Well, happy birthday, dude. Everyone from the Kyber Club, happy birthday to you, my friend. Hope you're having a great time. Whoa, man. That was great. Oh, we're making progress. Let's do seven star negotiator again. This, we're making progress. I don't know if this is consistent. I think we kind of went after an easier malevolence there without that uh, Geo Spy, but I think we would have won still. What if uh, seven star Radis is needed for finalizer? No, they said the finalizer is going to have the same exact rollout compared to the uh, Radis. So, same thing. You're going to need some ships, some random ships at seven stars, four star unlock packs, all that stuff. So, nothing different. Greetings, Great Admiral. Enjoy Valentine's Day. Oh, Blaze the Saint. You're my secret admirer, aren't you? Thank you so much for stopping by, paying your respects to the Kyber Club. And all right. So we're making progress. Those are three victories back to back to back. Let's make this work. Let's try it again. Let's try this again. I think honestly. Oh, come on. Seriously. I was out of battle for two seconds. All right, chat. Well, we're kind of we're getting blue balls here right now. Gotta wait for whoever is stalling us out. Well, let's see if they beat us. We're at rank 17. Let's see if they beat us. It's actually a great idea. It's a great idea, actually. <laughs> let's see if it holds on defense. So, so far, that lineup's winning us three battles back to back. I don't think we would have been able to make this work with the four or five star because that cleanse has been really clutch. That cleanse has been amazing for us. Oh, let's see. Uh, nothing changed yet. I'm assuming we're going to lose here. So that's the problem. See, like the thing is, I run Malevolence, and if you're running something other than Negotiator, you get targeted so much more. Basically, 90% of my shard, 95, I'd say, is all Negotiator. So if you run Malevolence, you get attacked so hard, and you fall on defense a lot harder. Ah, oh, Blue Balls Entertainment. <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, gosh. What ship do you think is going to be added? If I had to guess, ladies and gentlemen, while we're waiting here, if I had to guess, it's probably either going to be Zori Bliss if we assume that leak has some sort of minuscule of truth to it. I think the, the logical thing would be bringing in a uh, resistance bomber. And I, I hate to say it, guys. Please don't hate on me. I'm, j I'm just the messenger here. If I had to guess that they're going to release one more thing because we're at eight things in total and these at less than 10, I... I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. There's a very good chance Rose Tico might be needed for a resistance bomber. All speculation. All speculation right now. But I, it makes sense, I think. Oh, Arnold, will the stream be up later? Heck yeah, this stream is going to be up for you guys. If you guys want to watch it later, feel free to do so. I'm going to maybe... I don't, know if they, I don't think it's worth doing a highlight reel for the event. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see if it's even worthwhile doing that. But uh, I want to get something up so people can see how good this is. Yeah, and the, the problem is, can we do this without Anakin? I don't know. We could try in a second, but I want to try this one more time. For Fleet Arena, it doesn't matter. You can use Anakin. But for Territory Wars and Grand Arena, you kind of don't want to give Anakin to this because it's needed for Negotiator. So we didn't hold on defense, unfortunately. Kind of understandable. I don't didn't think this was going to be a defensive uh, war, uh, war horse here. Nick Labay at work and can't stay. Just wanted to drop some love. Can you repost the stream after you're done with testing? You know it, Nick. Make sure you watch the end of the stream because the beginning half is not good. The beginning half is not good. <laughs> Boston Madman 99. Thank you for uh, thank you for the birthday wish, Arnold. I mentioned it in my first donation, but it's all good. You're still my favorite. Aw. Thanks, boss. You may have caught me during an intense moment, but I appreciate it. Hey, thank you so much. Happy birthday. Hopefully, the Emperor sending you goodwill. Lots of credits. Hopefully, you're wailing hard, hoarding hard. Let's try this again. Starting off, foresight, reducing cooldowns out the gate. Beautiful. That's, that sucks. It's a sucks. It's, it's a fact of life. Let's not give hounds to, uh, to turn meter. Okay. Mm, ah! See, now it's not working. Now it's not working. That could have been uh, because we didn't have uh, relics on boss. Let's give the tenacity over to Bosk or Houndstooth for right now. Without Ray's Millennium Falcon, I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling good. And it's kind of weird. At the beginning of the stream, I didn't like Ray's Millennium Falcon, but now it's like, yeah, we kind of need it. Kind of need it. 
Let's see what we can do. Let's work with what we have here. All right, let's pull that taunt off. And not really going to matter, but at least we can go all out on him. Okay. Okay. Target locked. Okay, let's cleanse all those Garbanzo up. Protection up on the field. Looking good. All right, taunt disappears. But I think Hound's Tooth has another taunt ready. Does this remove Terminator? Something removes Terminator here. No, but let's see if we can... Uh, I don't know if it's worth going after Skywalker with that ability. Let's just do it. Double exposes. Okay, who are you calling in? Uh, BLT Sandwich. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, we can't do much here. All right, cool. No taunt yet. But I don't have a taunt either. Whoosh. Ah! Not good. Not good. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Reinforcement. I need a reinforcement. Need a reinforcement. Need a reinforcement. All right, come on. I can do one of two things. I can call in Skywalker. Or I can bring in Ebon Hawk. I think... Yeah, no sense to bring in Ebon Hawk because that guy's going to taunt again. We're going to bring in this dude. Let's do it. Let's do it. Smash that AoE. Hopefully get some big damage here. Let's get a buff immunity on Bosk. Oof, good. I don't think we're going to kill off Skywalker in time, unfortunately. But in the meantime, let's try to go all out on uh, Hound's Tooth before he heals up at all. Ultimate coming in. Kenobi dropping a deuce on us. Ugh. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Let's do a basic, maybe. Let's do. They're gonna do this. We're gonna. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do this. Let's give the force it over to that dude. There we go. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're gonna last long enough here. Yeah. So it's the opening movie, and we're having a hard time. That may have been a lucky negotiated battle. Malevolence has been not has not been too bad. This is that it's that opening move. Maybe it's just because my boss is not relicked up because when you're looking at these we're going up against relic boss because I have I don't even have gear 12 plus my boss. I we're missing a ship missing a ship of some sort. What can we put in here that wouldn't uh, let's let's try one more time real quick. I think it, 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 uh, it all comes down to luck. Will your front line be destroyed in the first few seconds? That's what it's going to come down to. All right, smash the special, reduce hold, hold those maneuver. Nice evasion. See, like, that sucks. We can't lose. No, they stop. Stop. You need a high in a bomber or something like that for the resistance. See, like, I, I don't think we're going to win this now. Cleanse it off, at least. Let's get a taunt up. Ha! Get that going. Yeah, that's kind of a waste of a hit, but let's do it. 71,000. Raised Millennium Falcon being gone this early kind of sucks. Oh, well, we can hold on. I have an idea, chat. If that's going to be a problem, we can try our little Kylo Ren trick again. Very RNG dependent, but might be interesting. Yeah, these bots are really weird, guys. I, YouTube's got to get on their crap, man. They got to get on their crap. These bots are heck of really annoying. Hell of annoying. Okay. I'm wondering if we could maybe do a Kylo Ren here and then do like maybe Ray starting because Ray's dying out too early, so this is not helping out much. Gar Suxon, maybe. I could see Gar Suxon being kind of helpful. Zori Bliss misspelling on the leak is suspect. I mean, to be fair, Capital Games misspells a lot of stuff. They misspell stuff on their forum posts and mi grammar mistakes all the time, so they're not grammar wizards. I'm not going to say because of bad grammar, it's not legit, but who knows? Who knows? All right, let's do this again. Let's uh, need to get foresight. We're surviving. That's a good sign, at least. But without Ray, it kind of sucks. Uh, three more turns. I kind of want to do Ebon Hawk right now. I kind of just want to pull off all this retribution. Because if I bring... Wait, Skywalker starts up under stealth, right? What the heck is the... What's, what's her thing do? Yes, you get stealth here. All right. So I don't want Anakin getting AoE'd out of his mind here. Don't want to get AoE'd out of our mind. Okay. We're surviving. That's always a good sign. Big hip. 
73,000, not too shabby. Big hit. There we go. He gone. Oh, big hit. Oh boy, here, here it comes. Eesh, eesh, eesh. I don't think they're going to survive this. I don't see them surviving this here. Oh, yeah, too late. All right, so... We're going to try the, the thing real quick. Kylo Ren start. We just... We got to stop that Anakin just smashing our face in half. You just want to see the ultimate. Well, we got the ultimate off three or four times today. So we did get it off. Right now, we're struggling a bit. This, uh, I think we got lucky at one time against the negotiator. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull off uh, Ray for a moment. We're going to fix our reinforcements. I'm going to bring Kylo. Then we're going to bring in Ray. Just load up our resistance line up here. And then we could do... I, I, I kind of want to see if we can get away without Anakin. Maybe we could do... Gar, Gar, Gar Suxon was a, a nice recommendation. He's not needed for anything right now. And then we could do uh, Evan Hawk in the last slot. Where is that older public tag? I don't know how I feel about it, but... I think we should start experimenting if we can get uh, some sort of viability out without having to worry too much about Anakin. Because Anakin's kind of very important right now. Gotta jump on. Gotta jump. Rock on, Otto. Thank you so much, Space Monkey. Always great to see you sticking around for this long. Stun looking good. All right, reduce cooldowns. It's like this so far is all right. Like, I, he can die. He did his job. But we're going to get a taunt off now, too, which is fantastic. Awesome. Awesome start. All right, let's cleanse up, everybody. Get that breach off us. Get all that garbage off the hound's tooth. Did we get a stun on him? Uh, I don't think... Was he over 50%? Didn't look like it. Big hit. Got a little bit of protection out of here. We got to get that uh, cleanse. Clone Sarge coming in. Let's cleanse all this garbage off us here. Stun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, bringing in Ray. There we go. Mm, foresight, beautiful. Do a little dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go for right now. We're going to do this. Okay. Hound's Tooth is doing the Lord's work, chat. Doing the Lord's work. That's, he's not over 50%, so we'll do this. Ah, resist it. Uh, it's too bad his basic doesn't guarantee the stuns. Tenacity up. Uh, let's actually, you know what? Mm, I think Anakin's going to do another AoE. Let's do, let's, let's do to Tenacity up over there. I was going to give it the Ray for an extra buff to use for her big ability, but I think uh, this is better. This is going to be the better move. Because Anakin's going to get ticked off here. Here comes Ray. The big hit. Let's see what we can do. Come on. Ah, that wasn't as exciting as I was hoping for. We had 100,000 in the past. We got to get that again. Got to get that to happen again somehow. Stun Hound's Tooth. Yep. Ah, Kylo Ren, man. You're doing amazing right now. He is doing amazing. Re Reinforcing, bringing in the next guy right here. So we are maxed out on resistance on the field. Doesn't happen too often like that. Let's go. Hit it. Uh, who do I want to hit? Someone without retribution, ideally. Uh, let's just do this. I don't want Hound's Tooth to gain turn meter. Hound's Tooth did his job. He did his job. Oof. Kylo Ren's gone. Let's see if we can take... Oh. This isn't going to hit hard enough. But let's just see if we can take him out. Mm, yeah. That was... That was weak. <laughs> that was pretty weak sauce right there. Ooh. Almost gone. Ah. This might be game over right here. Game over. Game set. Match. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe we got to bring in Gar Saxon earlier. I'm going to try this one more time, guys. I'm going to bring in Gar Saxon after Ray. I think Gar Saxon after Ray might be the way to go. Yeah, I'm the yeah, exact. I see people are kind of thinking the same thing. X Wing's not being too helpful. We're going to bring in Gar Saxon and try to bring us back up already. Ah, oh, that just really sucks. Why can't that be guaranteed? That miss stun could cost us the whole entire victory right here. The whole entire victory could just go down the trash because of that. Relic Bosk. I have so many more important things to do right now, unfortunately. Relic Bosk is not on my mind. Not on my mind. There we go. Cleanse that up. Big hit. Mm, man, it's like a... I can't really recommend people, oh, use this line if you get the stun. It's like, ah, that stun's not consistent enough. I'd love to kill his Anakin first, but how am I supposed to? I have no way of getting over there. 
You want me to tickle him with a, a 1,000 hit? You got to get around these taunts. We don't have any way of getting around the taunts. Trust me. I know how to beat a negotiator. I do it all the time with malevolence, but you can't get around these taunts, unfortunately. Can't get around these taunts. How long have we been streaming for? It's been a two-hour stream. Definitely a little bit on the longer side, but we're definitely wrapping up a little bit here. Definitely wrapping up a little bit. Okay. Hounds 2 doing the Lord's work as always. Oh, don't go after Poe. Come on. Leave Poe alone. Ah. It's one ship we're missing. One ship we're missing. But I got to say, we're at least surviving longer than we uh, originally were. At least we're surviving longer. Can't bring in a reinforcement. Let's give give this to Ray. Try we can do better, make use better use of it. All right, let's see what we can do. Big hits, big hits. Hopefully, big hits. Ah, ninety three thousand. Not bad. I want more, more. All right. It's like now we're having a hard time getting to our bottom of the reinforcements. Cassian's mass buff the spell. We have we have uh, Ebon Hawk for that, and uh, Cassian's kind of needed for uh, Akbar. I know we haven't tried the spy either. I don't know how to fit it in. I don't know how to fit that in. That's the problem. Where do you fit in the spy? Because so far we're having a hard time getting to these last three reinforcements. And plus, yeah, Spy is needed for Malevolence, which is kind of nice. You have the Relic Ray. I got to say, if that's the case, this ship is not nearly as bang as your buck compared to Negotiator and uh, Malevolence, that's for sure. I kind of like Ray working in the Reinforcer. It's just like, if we can't get that stun, this doesn't work out. It is kind of wrong using crew here, that's for sure. How much did we spend? We spent 250 on the ship today. 250. <laughs> Something's not working here. What can fix our problem? What can fix the problem? Do we have another malevolence we can test up against while we're here. Let's do another malevolence test and let's try this again real quick. Uh, so far, it seems pretty consistent against Malevolence. But yes, I think one more resistant ship should do the job. Ooh, can we stun Houndstooth right now? That'd be beautiful. Yeah. Stunning Houndstooth. Might as well wait for it to rain in the Mojave Wasteland. Fallout reference right there. <laughs> um, let's see. Get that garbage off me. New Vegas, boy. New Vegas, best fallout. Changed my mind. Changed my mind. Keep going after that, dude. Can we call it the radish? <laughs> oh, all right. Reinforce. Let's bring in right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Reinforcement. Do a little spin. Houndstooth is taking a little beating. Ugh. He gone. Stun this fool. There we go. Kylo Ren, how are you so useful on this fleet? I just don't understand. All right, let's do uh, Tenacity. Let's give that over to Ray. Big hits across the board. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Ooh, ah, it's all right. It's all right. Oh, can we get a... I don't think he's going to get a big hit. Can we stun Houndstooth? <laughs> Two missed stuns from Kylo Ren. At least we got the Hyena Bomber out of here. At least we got the Hyena Bomber out of here. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Do not do that. Don't do that. Okay, let's keep going after Sunfact. Oof. Getting a little outnumbered here, guys. I don't think we're going to survive. Yep, she's gone. They're not having enough uh, resistance is going to screw us over here. Mmm. All right, let's see. Foresight. Big hit. 
There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost. Come on. Once you get that hold of maneuver, it's kind of like Grievous' ult. Once you get that ult off, you're basically guaranteed the win. Yeah! Bam! You fool! All right. There's our reinforcement right there. Hells to the yeah, yeah, baby. Hells to the yeah, yeah. All right. Let's get that buff community going on over here. Ah, oh, yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah, it sucks. I, I, I love the malevolence especially because I stop bonus protection. There we go. There we go. I'm thinking at the minimum, this is actually going to be kind of useful up against... Actually, start taking these guys out. We don't have to worry about that. This is actually being fairly consistent against malevolence. We have not lost legitimately to malevolence, really. Malevolence is definitely getting a beating here. There we go. Pull that off. Big hit. Bam. There we go. There we go. All right, so we could try one or two more negotiator battles. I think I've learned quite a lot for our initial testing. This is doing pretty well up against Malevolence, and we really didn't have any important ships on here except the uh, Hound's Tooth, unfortunately. That's really the only ship that's causing a little bit of problems. But at least we're Malevolent. I mean, the problem is you're mostly going to be fighting negotiators. But let's just think of a hypothetical. We kind of have indication that there's going to be more separatist ships in the future. There may be a chance the tide is going to turn. And whenever Grievous gets like one more ship, he will be probably the more dominant ship over the negotiator. So, so far, I'm seeing a rock, paper, scissors. Levens beats negotiator. Negotiator beats... The Radis and Radis beats the Malevolence. So there's kind of this nice little triangle thing. But the problem is, I'm, I don't really care that much having a counter to Malevolence. That's the only thing I don't care about. All right, guys. Uh, any more ideas you want to try to try to uh, bump into this negotiator? I think we're close to having something consistent. We won only one time or two times against negotiator. Only twice against negotiator. We're coming very close. We're some. We're we're, we're close to something. No, Negotiator is still hands down better than this. Hands down. I see people arguing about that. Negotiator is definitely better. And it doesn't cost you any money, really. One more time. I'm going to look at this. Um, it's, it's just I need to get these resistance ships on the field faster. And we don't really have a chance to get over here. Piston's Ewing. Soka, where do you want to put that stuff, though? Why am I not trying Biggs? Because Biggs is needed for Admiral Akbar. That's why. That's why I'm not trying that. And plus, there's no target lock on this team, so Biggs dies off too quickly. Silencer here, if you're kind of late to the stream, Silencer is very helpful stunning Anakin early. It's really weird. You got to trust me. Kind of works. Kind of works. What about this? I don't... This is... You guys see where I'm going here? <laughs> I don't know what I'm... What's go, how, what the, how this is going to work, but... It's interesting to say the least. Interesting to say the least here. Falcon replaced Poe. You need Poe. Poe has been helpful. You need the you need you need maximum resistance ships for sure. Why not Poe reinforce? I don't know. We've been having all right luck of Poe starting because he helps starts reducing the, the the cooldowns quickly. The BLT instead of the Hound's Tooth. Oof. I don't know about that, Chief Key. I don't know about that, but we're going to do one more battle. This is going to be our last battle because I see the stream's kind of dying off. People are losing interest in ships. Ships doesn't hold as much attention as characters. So we're going to do one more thing here, and that's it. One more thing. Yeah, we're going to try Gar Suction just for the heck of it. Just for the heck of it. And then we'll bring our two resistance ships afterwards. And then um, let's do Ebon Hawk and uh, Lando. I mean, I can... I can change the order when I'm doing it. Let's just try this real quick. Last chance. Oh, come on. Jesus. I've only, like, seriously, leave me be, people. I'm only, uh, like, two seconds. Not like I've been sitting here. Oh, whatever. All right, we got to wait again for a second. I kind of hate it because I want to keep battling the same ship for consistency. These people are kind of ruining it. Yeah, I don't know why these bots are here. YouTube sucks right now. That's all. Whoa! Did they? We did, did we just hold it a defensive battle? Did we just defend a defensive battle? 
I don't think we got knocked down. This is the same exact team. Huh. Interesting. Oh, we got lucky there. That that was lucky. That was lucky. That was lucky. Uh, but uh, all right. All right, so we're going to cleanse this off in a second. Come on. Oh, double cleanses. A little overkill, but let's do it. All right, let's do... Do, ooh, do I want to use this now? More protection. Up. Let's just screw it. Just go for it. All right, big hit. Boom. No crit. Yeah, someone maybe lost on purpose, maybe. I don't want to say that we have defensive viability, but that's the first time we got we held defensively. We, we lost against someone else. Basic. All right, here we go. Ray coming in. Our sex, the extra protection of action might not be all that bad. Ooh, buff immunity right here. Yeah, okay. We're going on to Hound's Tooth now. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. Don't cleanse yet. He's going to cleanse in a second, I think. Hold on, hold on. Let's see, come on. Can we get the Hound's Tooth before he cleanses? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, uh, can we, do we call an assist at all? All right, we're going to call someone to assist. Let's, we're going to call Poe for the assist. Or actually, Ray. Come on, almost there. Come on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Evaded. It was working, chat. Oh, wow. Talk about getting screwed over right there. Wow. We got screwed over big time. Wow. Absolutely wrecked right there. Oh, actually, I think we did lose, uh, lose on defense. We're only 22 now. Oh, my God. We're going to do that one more time. I got... Ah, uh, come on. Come on. That guy had exposed his buff. Me and Ray was supercharged there. My goodness. I am... That ticked me off right there. That ticked me off. Oh, Gar Saxon. Hey, Gar Saxon's taking... Okay, whatever. Yeah. Better than Ray dying off, I suppose. <laughs> Cleanse. Oh, man. That was trash. That was hot trash. That was hot trash. All right. We're going to have to do a lot more testing and see if there's anything uh, viable against Negotiator. It could be a mixture of relics, missing a ship. Something along those lines, but Malevolence has been consistently beaten by uh, uh, Radis so far. Consistently, which is nice. But not useful right now. There's not a lot of uh, Malevolences. Maybe in the future that might be useful. Maybe people start putting uh, Malevolence on defense in Grand Arena territories and save Negotiator for offense, like kind of how I do for Grand Arena. But as of now, that's not the most effective tip. Oh, all right, can we get a big hit in a second here? Oh boy, everyone's gonna hit me hard. Eh, let's gotta do that. Come on, no breach, of course. All right, we're gonna give this over to Ray for an extra buff, hopefully. All right, let's see. I don't, I don't think we're gonna kill anyone off here. Ninety-eight thousand, not too shabby, not too shabby, but we're not gonna pull it off, I think. Not gonna pull off. Hey, maybe we can get a couple kills here. Come on, get a counter attack. Let's do it. Can it beat the Akbar Milf? Unfortunately, I have not seen anyone any Akbar in my arena. I'll refresh a couple times, but um, if there is one, I, I can climb up for a second. Oh, we got one right here. Perfect. All right, let's do this. Uh, let's take this out. What do we normally put in there? We usually put Ray in the starting lineup. Let's do. Let's just try to do what we normally do. Gar sucks and not being incredibly helpful. All right, boom, boom, boom. Let me uh, do that there. Very garbage ship. I am not impressed with the X swing. That's for sure. Not super impressed. And what do we do here? Oh man, it's been a long stream today. What do we put there? We did Anakin earlier. Let's try something else other than Anakin. We'll do Gar sucks and bring Gar sucks and back in. Let's try to not use Anakin. Yeah, and then we'll do Lando as the last one. All right, here we go. Last try. We're going to do some Akbar battles just to see if we can kind of compete. These, uh, usually we just get blown away at the beginning. Like, they're going to take 5 million turns. All right, we got it. We're going to get this out. Uh, let's just do this. Come on. Taunt. It's going to probably disappear in a second, but oh well. Reduce cooldowns. 
All right, jeez, jeez, jeez. There goes the hound's tooth right there. All right, let's do a little twirl. Doing our twirl. No need to cleanse right now. No need to cleanse. I'll take the 50% turn meter, though. I'll take that. All right, big hit. Oh, 110,000. Not bad, but ooh, too much. Mobile Gamer has been testing of Relic Resistance, and he says he has not been able to beat uh, Rebel Fleet yet. Big hit. Oh, my gosh. Horrible luck right there. Look at that horrible luck. That was absolutely trash luck, man. We're not having good RNG, but hey, we got that out. There we go. All right, calling a reinforcement. We can get that taunt off of uh, Hound's Tooth. No, we can't because we have that, unfortunately. But let's just do the... Uh, let's just do the... B -b 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 exposes. Ah, uh, let's do it. We can't get that taunt off, so... Double expose. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ray's having a hard time piloting the Falcon. Yeah, I don't think... Um, we need... We're missing something. Yeah, they just... Uh, they're getting blown away. Blown away. Uh, we're missing something that's a better version of the Hound. Not a better version of the Hound, but more... Suitable replacement for the Hound's Tooth. So hopefully, ladies and gentlemen, you learned something. We learned that there is some degree of viability. So far, initial impressions. Negotiator, probably the better ship all around. Malevolence, number two. Akbar number three. Radis number four. But I think there's more to be desired. The resistance ships are kind of garbage. For the most part, we're kind of using low gear low gear and compared to relic seven and stuff like that so you need seven stars to be somewhat viable at the end game of fleet arena that's something we kind of learned the hard way unfortunately so that's what we do this stuff. i appreciate you guys coming out i had a ton of fun this is the first time i streamed ship content on youtube and that's something big i would never do that in the past but ships is actually starting to become kind of an interesting ball game i love the direction ships are going not every ship has to be god tier amazing that might be the point of the raddest it's not god tier it's got some viability, but maybe there's a bigger story that we have not yet seen. Let's give a quick shout out to all of our lovely uh, supporters. Those of you who liked, subscribe, help getting that watch time metric up and hanging out. I mean, all those who are going to watch afterwards, and of course, all of the big spenders here at the Kyber Club. Thank you all so much for your support. You guys keep the lights on and help the community in general, because when you guys help me, we're all learning something. We're all learning something with this new content. I'm hoping that's what we can pull out at the end of the day. Love the stream, says Green Ranger. I love you guys. I love doing these as well. I think it's time for some Kyber Club action. Gary, do we have to, do Gary, you got to preload the Kyber Club music. My gosh. <sighs> this guy is useless. Gary, one job, your one job, actually we have a, a lot of jobs, but your, your one important job is to make sure you play the Kyber Club song. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, cranking up the tunes. Gary, music. There we go. All right. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I had an absolute blast. Hopefully, ship content keeps staying interesting. Finalizer, find the guest. Probably going to come out next week. You bet your bottom dollar. We're going to be streaming and testing that as well, so we all can have some fun in the community. Let's get to the Kyber Club, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! The Jedi are taking over. Do it. Come on, guys. You know the words. Do it. Do it. Come on. You guys know the words. Sing it. Yeah. Do it. Woo! The resistance is built on hope, ladies and gentlemen. But the Kyber Club is built on being awesome. There's no excuses. We're always number one. We hoard hard. We will hard. We get hard. And at the end of the day, we're having a great old time. Kyber Club's open. 25-8. Take it easy. I'll have some videos up tomorrow for you guys. Don't you worry. In the meantime, take it easy. Lemon squeeze. You know we got a dive bomb. Let's do it. Three. Two, one, ah, oh yeah, baby, oh yeah, shout out to Karen and her crazy purple hair, that's a one wild woman, that woman's wild, here we go, people, you know the words, do it, do it, the get over, take it over, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! The Jedi are taking over! Do it! 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 Do it!